and we're back for part two of trying to use our quick repairs as quickly as possible at yeah. the north side. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's. No, we're failing pretty hard at that right now. <laughs> no, I mean some of us were doing fine, but Jordan's gotten worse and worse. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm just gonna share the link. Oh yeah. You go and share that link. Share to the linker. Share to the linker. Share to the linker. Should I uh, go with Jordan? Yeah, I should. Bye. Yeah, cool. Bye. Wow, that's a big Murray. Make him smaller. That's too much Murray. Still had 9.7 liters to spare. There's your boy. Curtis in the car. Oh, it's, it's trying to refuel 100 liters. I'm going to force it to refuel 93 liters because we had 9 liters to spare. Yeah, yeah. My, 93 my, is going to be fine. That's my crew chief keep putting fuel in. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit, I'll, uh, I'm replacing If that's tires. okay, Kurt, I'll move you to the other radio for the first bit while we get stuff sorted, and then I'll, uh, I'll move you back in because it might get noisy in here. Sure. Yep. We'll uh, check back in with you shortly. Uh, Sounds good. Good luck. Have fun. Thank, thank you. Looking forward to it. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, good luck, mate. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, never mind. I thought Martin is gonna stay. All clear on pit exit.
He is on his way. He is well on his way. Oh, well on his way. Yeah, he's like stamping on it. <laughs> is it like slow down, boy? <laughs> yeah, he's looking. He's looking dialed, man. Yeah, he's confident, but he has been practicing for for I think over an hour just now. So he's uh, he's in the zone, I think. Can you uh, jump out of the pit crew chief stuff? Fuck, sorry I'm so bad at that, I really need to improve that. Ah, oh, you fucking prick. I know, <laughs> I know. You keep dragging us down, man. I know. Okay, just throw yourself aware. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. We can uh, move Kurt back in here once it's, uh, it's like, like maybe we're going to be chatty and rowdy, but I don't know if uh, there's not mu that much happening in here, we can move him back anytime. I think he's fine with a bit of, uh, a bit of noise. Some light background conversation. It, it does keep you going, especially during the night, but that's sure. personal yeah. as well. I've been wondering whether to play, like, put some, some low music in the background. <laughs> I've prepared a three-hour speech for you guys while driving at night. Well, can you please do that when I'm not in the car? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get your own radio channel. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a, a really nice recovery, Jordan. Yeah, really good stance, mate. Yeah, yeah. solid stuff. You can be really I'm happy with those. It's like the first start of it was like easing into it and it just slowly got quick. <laughs> Could you tell I was uh, very cautious with the areas I crashed on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and with traffic as well. <laughs> oh my god, that, that look, last part Look at Curtis traffic. though, just annihilating the car behind us in the yeah, race. <laughs> oh, Curtis. Curtis! Oh, take it easy, baby! Oh, yeah. I'm gonna jump in there. Yeah. Okay. Guess that was a bit exuberant. This is his first, right? Yeah, very first place. Yeah, I think we all can remember that moment that you jump in an endurance race. Yeah. You feel like you can have it and then, oh. Yeah, but fuck. he's just, he's so careful normally. Like, he's a very measured, he has a very, yeah, like, clever approach to it normally. So, the fact that he was going like this, I counted as him really putting on the pressure. And he, yeah. that he was really dialed, so I didn't want to be like, Oh, maybe we should tell him to slow down. I sort of, we'll I trusted him. Again. It was just no, maybe. He gotta learn it for himself, basically. Yeah, but it was maybe just you know very early in your first stint to have to pass a car. That's basically for position and so. Not the best start. Wow, well, that's a shame. Uh, well, at least we got two quick pairs. Yeah. Okay, so we're towing six and a half minutes. Uh, I think we're at a point where we're going to need to start thinking, are we going to see how long the repairs are? Can we then still throw the fast repair in? That's a very good question. Um, because if we can still throw it in, we could also contemplate looking at how big the damage is and then maybe take it. Yeah, but you still have to issue that you never get the guarantee that the repair is going to be 100%. No, but that's no. the thing. Like if, if, it, if it's... it just looked very bent this time. It, it looked pretty bent. Yeah. Uh, the like, I can tell you the feel, well. the feel was at 90 degrees almost. I would yeah. say 60. I wouldn't. Yeah, for, that's for not. Adam. That needs to be a fast repair. Yeah. Okay. So we're uh, fast repairing it. And. Uh, I think we're going to send you back out <laughs> for, for two stints. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be a 
five and a half minutes and then just redo the thing. Yeah, we we, we were talking time. about how impressed we were with your pace. And, that, and while that's a good thing, I don't think that's a good thing in the first lap. We sort of didn't realize until it happened. Just <laughs> I, I go slower it, than yeah. you feel like you need to because it's such I was a... was running yeah. like it was lap three on the tires in a, a you know, two thirds of a tank. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, Kurt. My apology. I crashed it twice. <laughs> That would be like that. <laughs> now, my my top tip is ease into it. Just think. Don't like, overthink it. Just do yeah. a normal pace, but don't put. <sighs> yeah, I think I eased into it for about the first. I don't know. So oh, the GP like, track, oh. and then you were uh, done easing it. It's not until like the second lap you get used to it better. I feel like it hooks up a bit better then. Yeah, I took like even four laps maybe, so you can really take your time with it. Yeah, it is a reality. Yeah, we've come to the point where we uh, are getting overtaken by the front end of the TCR field. Yeah. Oh well, let's just uh, try again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, nothing to do but just reset, you know. Go again. Yeah, reset, go again. Just enjoy the fact that we have quick repairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not much of them left. No. It's going to be one after this. Oh, uh, hold the brakes once the towing is over, Curtis. Hold the brakes for the entire pit. There's like a bug with the quick repairs. Okay. Yeah. That has uh, screwed us over in the first half of the race. That's where we got the the meatball thing. That's where that came from. Yeah, so don't worry about it too much. Just try and ease into it and uh, let's keep it going. Let's see. When I was when them two, um, I had a bit of a sandwich between the two GC three cars and a TRC car. Yeah. Because I passed him and then I took a wide line. I think he was gonna like I don't know where to go. I felt a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, Trevor can be uh, quite a bitch just in general, but especially at this track because there's not a lot of moving space and because of the camber once you go off of your line you just sometimes you just get sucked out of it One and a half minutes, it'll take two. <clears throat> Are you managing the, the pit stop stuff, Jonas? Yeah, I set everything up the way it should be. Yeah. Cool. Since when is the brake pressure pressure bias at forty? I don't think it was before. No, I certainly don't think so. No. Kurt? Hmm? Did you have Did you change the brake pressure? Hmm. Uh Jordan maybe then. Jordan. Well, did you change the brake pressure bias? 
Uh, no, uh, Merlin did. Oh. Yeah, but he it's turned awesome. it up to like 47 something. Where yeah, the Merlin. tweak school I handed over to Martin was 46.7. Set it to 47.3 or 46 point something high. Yeah. I mean, it felt that... right. I'd... Yeah, you I'd, seem I'd to be... Uh... Were you running you 40 be... for the entire time? I think he has. Oh my. Uh, I was doing off. Yeah. Well, apparently it didn't affect you the too much. Clear. But, uh... It's making me nervous. It's a bit annoying that we didn't hear anything about that. This is the first time I'm seeing it. Yeah, I don't understand. I feel like I looked at it during Jordan's stint where it didn't say 40%. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna be off for a bit. Yeah. Cool. I'll come back for like a bit in a couple of hours or so. Yeah, have some good rest in the meantime. Yeah, man. Great, great recovery, man. That was really good work. You can definitely yeah. keep your head held high. Yeah, retweet on that one. Retweet. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> For a moment, it sounded like tweet, tweet, and that one, tweet, tweet. <laughs> He's coming through on the outside. Car right. Maybe lift a little He's bit. He's still there. Just to let him. Still there. Clear right. There Another Porsche coming up. They are actually pretty close still. That's yeah. P2 and 3. He's still five seconds out though. And Mia's in the lead. She's a, a spicy lass. Yes, she is. Call me. That's what I said as well. Yeah, I'm just trying it out. Might as well.
Side's clear. Oh, is it biffed again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he punted me right off the track. <clears throat> uh, that was a bit of a, a sketchy situation there. What the hell did he do? Ran into the back of me. to tow it again. Yeah, I can't drive it. Oh, you came onto the brakes as well. He flashed. I mean, I came out of the brakes. I just tapped him to let him by. Good grief. Yeah, he was probably pretty spicy because of the car ahead. Um... But we did, he he, we did he had no racing. he had nowhere to go. You hit the brakes just as he was getting yeah. a run on you on the racing line. That's not his. That's honestly not his fault. Yeah, we were right in front of him when we brake. I don't think he had enough time to respond to that. Did you brake to let him by? <laughs> um. Yeah. He flashed, and I got off the accelerator to get to the and end. just gave it a little tap to let him by because I thought he had pulled to the right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he expected you to 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 slow down there. Oh, that's a shame. God damn it. Oh yeah, that's a big bummer. Um... So this one looks worse than the last one. Yeah, this one is way worse. So we it's don't... Like, there's no choice. That's just the last... Uh, this is gonna be the last fast repair. Yeah. It's Ooh. getting serious now, boys? Yeah, it's getting very serious now. E either that or it's getting less serious really quickly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think the East Coast car is in some sort of a say, similar situation because he's he's uh, had a biff as well. He's still running. Yeah, I, I've. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. That's what happens. I think, but I do think there was a mistake on our end. No, on my end. <sighs> yeah, I mean, don't worry about it too much because it happens and we, you know, traffic is, is really hard to deal with. So, uh, to to be dealing with traffic on a track like the Nürburgring, uh, yeah, I mean... See, the, the thing is, is I normally, at the point where I let off, I normally go a little bit to the so I can set up for that hairpin yeah. and go deep into it. 
I thought he had because he flashed. I thought he had pulled to the right. So I, you know, yeah. I was just trying to let the guy by. Yeah. Maybe in in this part of the track, it would be a bad idea to make uh, the other one that's uh, looking um, send a message where we're gonna let him pass, so there's no surprises on both ends. I think that would be a bit too much effort. I think. Yeah, it's gonna be. Traffic, that's gonna be a, full, be a full full time job for like two days. Yeah, that's gonna be too much, too much effort, to be honest. Um, that's what we do all the time, mate, to avoid this. It happens in every fucking 24 hours. People get sleepy, people do stupid things. Just be on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I, would, I wouldn't be sending every single car a message. No, me. no, no, you do it on basis on, on the driver. If he asks you to let him know, I'll let him pass in, in three corners. The, the spotter relays the message only then. If it's obvious, yeah. you just let it go. You can work in tandem that like like that to avoid it. Yeah, but um, this was just like it was the P3 Kana class, and it was just so much quicker that he was gonna go by organically. Yeah, and that was I, like the only the only mistake that happened really here was Kurt thinking that he needed to give him space. When in reality yeah. he was probably quick enough to just do it on his own, um, yeah. and that was sort of why the misunderstanding happened because the guy that hit him was just trying to maximize his exit for all it was yeah. worth, so he could he get the pass done. The, the breaking zone. Yeah, exactly. So he was all the way to the right. other way. Then it, it might help to have a experienced driver coach the other one in where he should let him pass. Yeah, but you were looking at it from a perspective with a lot of racing already. Yeah, that's true. And and it it might help to to coach uh, the others a little bit. Uh, Kurt, are you going going out again? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm 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 pulled back together. Cool. Okay, cool. I got all my mistakes out. Ooh. Yeah, it's good to get them out early. You get two freebies yeah. at the start of each race, <laughs> and then we need two solid stints from you. So just put it together now, and it's perfect. It's all good. <laughs> so currently it's set to give you tires, but you did two laps or something? I think these tires are still good. Yeah, you can't have new tires. No, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm overruling it. Yeah, you, you can do that. It's all good. Yeah. If you need, we're keeping you in the radio. If you need anything, you just uh, give us a shout, whether it's traffic or anything. Uh, and you have zero quick repairs, so take it easy now. <laughs> that one goes for all of us. Yeah. <sighs> My apologies, guys. No, don't worry about it, man. No, I'm just get fine. take it easy, get into the rhythm, have fun with it. Just don't worry about pace or position or anything. Yeah. Pace is the last thing we need. So. Just go out there, settle into it, and uh, try and bring it over the line uh, in two hours' time. Oh, it does tell me if I could just do a lap. Uh, yeah, to start off with a lap would be good. Yeah, let's just start off with that. <laughs> no, don't worry, mate. Don't worry.
stage use as a faster car approaching. Okay, so we have a Mercedes coming up. It's only a spin, that's fine. It's about to be a lap, so uh, it's looking good. <laughs> I won't, I won't, yeah, I jinxed it, that's too late. Just uh, keep it up, take it easy. Take it nice and smooth. Next, I'm hearing. I think it is.
Was that a snacks, Jonas? Was that a lapse, Curtis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a snacks. Um, pass me one, I could do with a snack. Could you get out of the uh, race engineering, please? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. There's a Mercedes coming up, two seconds out. Mercedes is waiting. Car left. On the left, on the left. Clear left. Keep right, keep right. Oh. Uh, traffic is good, you can just make the turn. There's nobody coming. Yeah, let's get it going. Good job to stay out of the wall. Did you tell me? Uh, yeah, but uh, I think you should have kept right a little bit more. Because I think I'm gonna check it. Yeah, the Mercedes was pretty much on the apex uh, when you came in. We should have left a bit more space there. It's fine, we're still running, but... Uh, traffic will always try and make their way through as quickly as possible, so once they pick a side, we should just try and keep away from them as far as possible. And just uh, always remember to take it really slow because once you're off the racing line, uh, kind of drags you out.
the cardboard card just got black flagged again. Yeah, I was researching it too. <laughs> okay, you've got an Audi coming in two seconds out. Well held. Well held. So when someone comes up from behind, you can always try and make a gesture uh, of where you want them to go by keeping either left or right, and most of the times they'll take the invitation instead of waiting for them to make the move and then having to adjust ourselves. Because that's mostly a bit harder to do, so we'd rather take the time loss and uh, move over a bit sometimes. Not always though, just whenever it, uh, you see fit. Slower class car ahead. Okay, so you're coming out to the Audi here, you're a lot quicker on the straights, but same speed in the corners, basically. Thank you. 
Far left. Clear left. Good job. Nice one, mate. If you just breathe the throttle ever so slightly across the crest on Schwedenkreuz, you'll have a lot more grip. Just like five yeah, percent throttle. I'm pumping. Yeah. Because I'm driving too. I'm but, braking too. Yeah, sure. But even if you're braking, it might still it still gives a bit. This is really good stuff, mate. Really good stuff. And so is this coffee. Still need that coffee sponsorship. With that said, I'm about to go make me a cup. The leading car has gotten a warning for flashing excessively. Okay, so you have a bit of space before the next traffic comes up. So just focus on those apexes.
seems you're getting into it nicely now, mate. Keep that up. Yeah, it's looking really good. Fuel-wise, it's a bit weird. No, it's not gonna matter. You're looking at four laps to go. Eight seconds until the next Audi. Now that I think about it, we really shouldn't say Audi, because there's Audis in both of the other classes. <laughs> I'm almost kind of happy I went to see what Cabot was up to, so I didn't see it. What's up with him? Oh, I, I think they're done. Korea. They, yeah, they've been black flagged and they've had a stop and go, and they're still parked in the pits 13 laps down. So I think Cabot is no more. Sad face. Yeah. Yeah, they've been making a mess. They, if you check the protest channel, like 50% a while back was Kabord. A slower class car. Right, clear right. Oh, that had me on the seat of my pants. Yeah, good pass.
Ooh. Slidey boy. Yeah, take it easy, Kurt. There is no rush. But it was feeling so good. It was looking pretty fine. <laughs> now the track's got some slippery spots on it. I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's just about trying to be as, as smooth as you can in a lot of the sections here because of the bumps. Seems like you might be oversteering the car a little bit sometimes. Sorry. I'll shut my dirty mouth. Yeah, please do. Thank you. <laughs> So the car ahead, the CCTS car, they found a new yeah. driver called Casper Ingers. And he's sketchy. Well, that's good for us. Yeah. Looks like he keeps it going, but he's doing mid 50s. And looking at how he drives, it's sketchy. Mm. Oh yeah, his lap times are all over the place. Yeah. Looking at their names, I think they're either Dutch or Belgian, most of them. Five seconds out, it's a group of three. Two of which are battling, so they're gonna be uh, spicy coming through, I expect. Martin Asher is just doing mid 20s race pace. Fuck that guy. Take it real easy now, Kurt. Let's try and get these guys through safely. How close are they? Two, Two seconds. seconds out. So they're basically uh, there. Blue flag. Audi has arrived now. Right. Don't right. don't put the brakes on when you want to let someone yeah. through ever. Just lift. It's plenty. Well, I couldn't lift. I had to slow down for the turn. Car right. Clear right. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Okay, let's go. on the front. <clears throat> That's not gonna be too major, I don't think. 
think it's fine. Take it easy and get a feel for it. Oh! I'm on behind. Okay, don't go. You can go. You can go. I can't turn. How does it not? Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it. Stay off the. Okay, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Someone in behind. What class? Um, it's an Audi, so you should be fine. The car's a little funky. I think I can get used to it though. Yeah, just take it really easy. Messed up the steering a little bit. Looking at your wing, it's a little bit bent. It's, it's not by much. You could indeed be feeling it. What I feel is more suspension and steering. Yeah, that could uh, very possibly be. You've got a GD3 coming up. Left, keep left. Right side. Yeah, there right. he goes. That was good. You got it. Yeah. Good. The FBP guys, they haven't been running very smoothly themselves, have they? I've seen them crash from our perspective twice now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they might be running out of quick repairs soon, too. Seems like it. Next year it's going to be the perfect rookie race with like eight quick repairs. <laughs> I'm starting to get used to the damage. I mean, that's good. That's good. Because I'll try and slide off and pop. And you jinxed it. <laughs>
a little bit of looseness in the wheel. Bless you. But, sorry about that. I really tried to mute in time. Too late. So, you're looking at two laps to go? It's really close to being three laps to go, though. Yeah, I think uh, the fuel's a little short. Something, is that it? How is it? Doesn't really matter, but... Let's uh, keep it at two. Two to go. Does it feel okay, Mikhail? It's possible. It's a little loose, a little squirrely, a little off center. Not for. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna take all the repairs we can once. Yeah. Once you pit. Defo. Seen Al from V3 Racing is uh, asking if anyone wants to be his co-commentator on his stream. So Durden, you might want to get your uh, your ass over there. Show him how it's done. Driver's lounge or what? Yeah. There's no link. you Mike <laughs> it's a 17 hour night they're saying I'm six hours during the day. Six. Seven. Duh. I can math. has become the meme of this 24 hour race haven't they yeah by a yeah by quite a magnitude as well yeah <laughs> it's like whether they like it or not yeah I'm, have, it's like i proud of on themselves. i feel like i could be proud on how much i called it but i'm just sort of shocked at how much they became the meme yeah <laughs> Entering both teams and both teams being a total meme. <laughs> so, yeah. Like usually there's an A team and a B team, but uh, no with Kaport, they're all memes. R4R is actually in the pits with repairs. Hmm. So they might have used their quick repairs as well. No, haven't they? They're in first in our class. 
No, they're... Oh, no. Third. Never mind. And they're still there. I don't know. There's still a dent in the car. They might still just be towing, though. Uh, the biff in the front end might actually match up to the biff we've had in our back end. Wait, what? Uh, that's the car that gave us the pun. Oh. The... Hey, crazy. Welcome back, mate. Good evening or yeah. good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but it sounds like we're telling him to go to bed <laughs> when you say good night. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Good night, crazy. <laughs> Speaking of, maybe I should go and make some more coffee. I'm not nearly hyped enough for someone who's not going to be driving for another three hours. Tell that to someone who's not going to be driving for five hours. That's a good point. Oh, my chat has actually been stuck for quite a while. Well, how are we doing crazy? We're not doing great, but uh, we're still rolling. We've had a lot of biffs. We've had a weird 14 minute penalty. We're, we, we're, yeah, we don't have any more quick repairs and we're carrying damage. Oh yeah, of course you are. How did it go? It's at Laguna this week, isn't it? That's crazy! Congratulations! Good stuff. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, wow, that's really good. Hey man, uh, winning an endurance race is a win. It doesn't matter what uh, what split you're in. So you have another GT3 coming up here. I was about to say that. He's yeah. pretty much on you. I think he'll go for it before the. Nah. He's waiting nah. right now. He's waiting. He's waiting. Just try and maybe open up the inside here. Car left. Clear left. Ooh. Well, he's through. And we're alive. So I would call that a successful pass. <laughs> well held. I hadn't seen it, I had to rewind it. I wouldn't call it successful. <laughs> no. Well, statistically, it was fine. Statistically, yes. <laughs> yeah, but they're really getting thrown off the deep end with endurance race traffic. Yeah. With it being on this track, so I think that's fair enough. Yeah, it might have been a bit of a mistake from our end as well to not actually make you aware of, of maybe practicing uh, multi-split racing or multi-class racing. So you're really in a deep end, so don't worry about it too much. I so, thought you're... two practices would help. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, it's just, you need race hours as well to be good at this kind of stuff. There's so many different things you need practice in. So, yeah. this is just a learning experience. Yeah, for all of us, really. Uh... Coming up, but he's 
gonna do it on the start finish straight. Reckon. One lap to go. One lap to go. He's to your left. left. Still there. Hold off. Your top Still speed there. is the same, so probably just leave off the throttle. Clear yeah. left. Perfect. Oh, that's impressive, crazy. Yeah, you really annihilated those guys. <laughs> Sandbagger. <laughs> Who did you race it with, crazy? <laughs> Stevie's Stevie, Stevie. back. What's up, mate? Welcome back. Blue flag. So, Kurt, you have another one coming up. Clear left. Left side. Yeah, Clear goes. left. Yeah, well done. That's fine. Play it safe. It's 46. Huh? Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. That's perfect. So I think I think we can safely confirm that Steve's drunk now. Uh, Stevie seems to be drunk. Yes. <laughs> but hey, how's that a bad thing? <laughs> uh, no, I was definitely not saying it's a bad thing. There's a slight bit of me that's envious right now. Stevie's next GT Sport livery, uh, Danish crown and Lurpak confirmed. Yep. <laughs> and Carlsberg perhaps. You should be fine for a traffic curd for quite a bit. The next one is 45 seconds out, so that should be okay. Car's just a little hairy on the right hand, especially at speed. That's good to notice. Oh, <laughs> Stevie's blowing his own mind in the chat. <laughs> What's up, Hansa? Yeah, good Hello, night almost, you, mate. mate. Hey, the chat's suddenly blowing up. What's happening? So, yellow flag. I don't see anything. I'm looking. One guy off to the left There's when you come out. off on the left. You should be fine. Slower class car ahead. He's rejoining slowly on the inside. Go through. Good, 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 good. Also, Hansa is making the ERT liveries, so so we can go right to the source now, Hansa. <laughs> what Steve is trying to say is he'd like to see a Danish themed <laughs> ERT car. A Danish uh, lifestyle illness uh, manufacturer <laughs> company brand theme thing. Yeah, I know, Hansa, but it's really not going well. So all the other ones left. They might come back if it if it gets better. You see, Murray naturally gravitates towards winners, and currently we're fucking losers, mate. <laughs> we're not last. We could turn it into a, a like for Murray's, but that still only means one Murray at the moment. But just a quick moment to say thanks to everyone who just popped in. 
it's nice to see the the night gang show up. Thanks for having you along. If anyone who's watching isn't subscribed, consider subscribing. Uh, if for no other reason than to let me see the new uh, subscribe notification thing I made. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, Carlsberg. Good shout. Yes, even Stevie recognizes the truth that Murray naturally only really is drawn towards the winners. I don't know, crazy. I don't think it would, but <laughs> I don't know. I think we tested that actually last last weekend. Someone did that to get some kind of notification. And uh, if if your if your uh, if your subscriptions are public, I think it'll work. Thanks for the shout, Stevie. I'm gonna cut that out and put it as the new banner of our of our channel. That's going right into the famous quotes section of our Discord. I'm just gonna make a black banner and it's gonna be a new banner for the channel. Yoked. Good job keeping it off the wall. You're good for traffic. You can rejoin. There you go. Okay, box this lap, so just take it easy. Good stuff. Should be all set. No tires. Refuel and maybe have a look into repairing some damage. Yeah. Yeah, I think it needs. To, oh, I'll just wait. Yeah, I think it needs to be made clear that uh, Stevie's saying that as a representative of the Erie's racing team. I don't know, mate. I kind of like him. I kind of like the fact that you're incognito. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Who's this Chris Jones guy? He's really, he really seems to know a lot about the, 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 the half the race gone world." Yeah, he's Chris Jones. What an insider! Yeah, Chris Jones, our number one fan. <laughs> nah, he's one of us. So boxu, 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 boxu. Boxy, boxy. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Activate limiter. I think we'll need to stop again. What's my dude? Dude, that's a bit quiet. Is there uh, any repairs? Probably will be. 312. Take him. Cool. Take cool, 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 cool. Him. Yeah. Car's driving great, but a little too. F yeah. Go it should be a bit better once you come out again. Yeah. Hopefully. Right. Two, two stints is the way to go. <clears throat> because 
Well, just because. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm in. I'm in the groove now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's looking good, mate. So just keep your head down. Keep doing what you're yeah. doing. Just stay in it. Do you want me to play some cool in the gang to keep you in the groove, Curtis? <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good, you got it. Cool that, the gang. That's, Coming up there. that's going to be a solid <laughs> nope. <laughs> What's up, Shazza? Nice to have you along. Welcome to the night shift that is now officially begun. European time, at least. It has. Although this is, in reality, 17 hours of night out of the 24 hours we're racing, so... It's a lot of night. It's a lot of night. I should technically be trying to get some sleep in, probably, right about now. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How annoyed are you going to feel when you wake up and I've destroyed the car? Uh... <laughs> I'm just gonna roll back over and fall asleep again, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not if I destroy it first! Oh, damn it. Don't turn this into a competition, that's not the point. This race is rigged! <laughs> rigged, I tell you! I mean, I guess it's not very rigged since you're the last guy to get in the car. <laughs> and I was the first. Um, how long were the repairs, Curtis? Uh, three, like three twelve. There's one twenty-five left. Oh yeah, cool. That's not bad. Go 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 go. How are we doing in the results? Mm. Oh, still sixth. We are still in sixth. How far back is seventh? Disqualified. Uh, two full laps. Two laps. They're still running. That's the ATS. It's uh, one and a half laps in front of us, so that's going to be a big, bit much to ask. I think uh, we'd be lucky if we can uh, take it to the line. Yeah, if we can finish, that would be really good. That's yeah. our goal now. Okay, so <laughs> that's. Yeah, let's not worry about uh, pace and such too much, because that's uh, probably just going to push us into making more mistakes. Yeah. But it's always so hard to drive a car and not try and go fast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's really difficult. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know what they're teaching the guys over at ASN Velocity, but they've both been overtaken by Porsche Cup cars. And they're both fully biffed, and they're on the same lap right behind each other. <laughs> I don't think racing means what you guys think racing means. <laughs> I'm just trying to make fun of other people and divert the attention away from us. <laughs> Is a car coming up on your left? You'll make it through. What the oh, fuck is he doing? That was very unnecessary. That was not your fault. Just Car stay left. behind, stay behind. No, no. Clear left. No, it's an Audi. We're supposed left to pass side. it. Clear left. You're coming upon some slower cars. These guys are busy fighting. They might not notice you. Yeah, they're fighting. On your left. Okay, keep it tight. Clear left. Car left, clear left. Oh. On your right. Watch it, inside. Hold your line. There you go. Still there. Right side's clear. Okay, well handled, man. Let's get out of there. Man, and my car's all messed up again. <laughs> yeah, it was fun while it lasted with the you made a, made a really shoddy move on you because you were basically off the track and he still managed to run into you. Yeah, oh, no. I think it's borderline protest. 
I think yeah, that's... Let's focus on uh, making a run for it for now. I'm going to look into it. It's super clumsy. Yeah, like, I know the Audi understairs, but that was excessive. It's so crazy, and it's like, what is he expecting? It's like, is he expecting us to let him through? Yeah, because he's battling was, a guy, he's in a slower car. That was an absolute bumper car move. I, that I, was uh, not pretty. He's just... Like, rotate the car before you get on the throttle, man. We're there. We cannot, like... What he drove expect? like... But he he seriously drove like we just weren't at all. Yeah. yeah. Like, at all. I think we should protest it. Yeah, yeah. You, do, you cannot run into someone that's, uh, like, a meter outside of track limits. No. So it's T2.57. Has anyone of us been nominated as vice crew chief or whatever? No, you can just drop it in there. You want to put the time in the lot number? <clears throat> yeah. I can't see the time anymore. managed anyway Pass the car behind Okay, we've got a GD3 coming up Blue flag He's arriving uh, about now. It's inside, Clear inside. Right. Clear right. There he is. Blue well done.
think it's flattering that if Stevie is drunk, he's uh, checking in on half the race gone. That's sort of a compliment. That it is. Stevie from uh, from Aries is in the chat of the stream. and we don't so he suddenly he's there so that can actually be really hard to judge when someone's coming Truck Simeon has returned. Yeah, enough of the truck Simeons. <laughs> I should uh, try and get some sleep in, actually, otherwise, I'm gonna be uh, sick by the time that I should be running. Yeah, it's a, yeah. it's a good call to do it now if you feel like you can do that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, so it's gonna be Kurt for a bit, then it's gonna be Hesse for two hours, then Jonas for two hours. So I'm guessing I should be back, uh, let's say, half past three. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, half past three should be fine. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna set a timer for that, and then actually for first time get maybe a bit of decent sleep during a 24 that will be nice yeah yeah that's that that helps yeah that helps so um best of luck Kurt. stay safe and i'll be uh, checking back in in uh, not too long thank you sir thank you for your help yeah, yeah. no problem sweet dreams martin thank you Too fast.
<laughs> Talk to me now. <laughs> I'm just rereading the chat. Stevie's having a blast. I'm happy so to can see. You put that it's Curtis driving? Oh shit! Sorry, Curtis. I didn't hear anything, so I'm good. It's after the computer crashed. It went back to saying Jordan. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, not really, but okay. The next bit of traffic is going to be an Audi TCR, 14 seconds ahead. Thank you, you sir. You have a bit of space behind you. You're looking at oh, probably five laps to go. Yeah. Yeah. Five laps to go, five laps to go. Yeah, it's got a real ring to it, hasn't it, Stevie? Team Denpak Lurpak? <laughs> B6. Oh, R4R just had a bad off. Their car is bent. On well, the steering, at least, is. He's nowhere close to us. We'll be keeping an eye on that for position, though. Yeah, they are looking human. In case you hadn't noticed, the Audi I called out pitted in front of you. So you have a big gap. 40 seconds to the next GTP. Dirk just sent me a message apologizing for the contact. Oh, Stevie, you definitely should not shut the fuck up. But uh, the tires are good for about two hours. If you're a bit careful. Hey, Babo! What you know? How you doing, mate? We're struggling here. 
Curtis is doing well, but it's been a rough race. And Stevie's drunk. <laughs> hey, welcome, Doctor. Nice to have you along. As always. Cheers, water sheep. See you, mate. Good night and good luck. six but uh, <laughs> I, I want to say through no fault of our own we're just the second to last living Porsche Cup car but we're living we are living and survival is like surviving a 24 hour race here is a, an accomplishment in my eyes especially with this being in the, our first uh, Winter 24, uh, Curtis, who's in the car now, it's his first endurance race in our racing at all. And uh, Jordan had his second endurance race ever earlier. So, we're green at the green hill. OBR for our motorsports cars. Good line there, Curtis, made me nervous for a second. Which is a good thing. Make me nervous again. Yeah, I'm a little deeper than that fellow. <laughs> oh. And Stevie's passed out on the <laughs> He was trying to ride six, but he passed out on the keyboard. No, Bob, I believe um, Curtis is on a Fanatexi as well. We have uh, Jordan and uh, Martin both driving with SC2s now. Although I only think one of them has a pro. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Stop it, Stevie, you're making me hungry. <laughs> Tires are getting a little hot. Yeah, keep it smooth. Expect the pace to fall off a bit, so just take it easy. We are on this side of caution here in the last four laps. Yeah, Jordan's in on the SC2 Pro, I think. Uh, Martin just got a something SC2, something like that.
<laughs> late night, late night, 24 hour stream is developing in the stream right now. <laughs> So Curtis, you're doing brilliantly, mate. Four, four laps to go. Four laps to go. Thank you, sir. 20 seconds behind is a GT3. That might be the only one for the next lap. You have spaced, you just rejoin. I'm sitting there thinking about what Jonas was saying about squeezing on the throttle more gently. <clears throat> <laughs> and I caught an edge. <laughs> yeah, it looks to me like sometimes you turn a bit much under braking. Doesn't like that. <laughs> Better hope the boss doesn't read that. I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> okay, so GT3, four seconds out. being a bit careful right now, so just ignore him for now. I'll let you know when he's closer. Within a second, oh, he's gone. Just ignore him, keep going. He went off, right? Yeah, yeah, he just went too quickly coming up to.
far back is he now? He's towed. He's not gonna be there. There's another one coming up, but he's far back still, so don't worry about it. Thank you, sir. And it was absolutely not your fault, so don't worry about it. The next DG3, 16 seconds out. We're gonna catch an Audi TCR pretty soon, not the hell here. And he's gonna come into side after the turns here. Watch out with the speed difference. Whew. Good son. Yes, Curtis is doing well, Stevie. You're very right. It's his first endurance race, if you didn't know, by the way. So, uh, kudos. Thanks very much, dude. Nice, but are they? How close am I, Stevie? Nice flag. Blue flag. He's a bit back. He's gonna get you here. Left side. Jesus. That's well dealt with. Did you lift for him? Yeah. Yeah, you need to you need to be very careful with doing that, mate. Just let them get very close and then you can let them through. Because they get caught off by it. He was pretty close to smack smacking your ass again. Tuning in. Thanks for dropping by, mate. Enjoy the hangover tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good night, mate. <laughs> general doctor or just this stream
Hmm, wait a second. Don't give yourself a hard time about stuff like that, you're doing a really good job. Little errors like that are unavoidable. Thank you, it doesn't feel really good. <clears throat> no, but it's tiny errors like those, they are unavoidable, that's why we try to slow down a bit for these races, so we can catch them before we crash. Bob, you might be right that it's a bit slow, but uh, <laughs> you saying it made me realize that uh, I, when I restarted the second part of the stream, I didn't set it to ultra low latency, so that's also part of the reason why. I can't change it now, so I'll fix it for the next part. We have another GG3 about four seconds out. Maybe just lift before miss hit miss. No wait, he's lifting too. He's gonna be on your right hand side here. Car right, right side's clear. Good job. See that breaking worked because you waited until you did it further down the straight. That was really good. He had time to react this time. On the YouTube studio page for the stream, way at the bottom, there's a thing called stream latency. And you can change it to ultra low latency, that gives you quite a lot better interaction with your chat. But you might need to fiddle around with your bitrate once you do, because it's quite a lot faster pace. And I'm yeah, assuming. 
I'm assuming you have gr have a good connection, but it's also pretty heavy on your connection. Next GT3 car is 40 seconds out, so you have a good space now. upload I think I think you should do some testing I'm not sure if it's gonna work but it might boy they're really sticking you on the upload there huh You clear? You got up on the curb. Yeah, if you miss it if you miss the little carousel, you're almost guaranteed to be doomed. What's up, Wake? Good to have you back. <laughs> Absolutely, Bob. I would. I would too. Uh, Wake, we're, we're doing okay. Uh, we're trying to recover from from what's been a rough a rough part of the race. We ha we don't have any more quick repairs, so uh, it's regular special event lifestyle from here, which is it feels like there's a bit of a long way to go. Fifteen seconds to the next GT3, Curtis. Two laps to go, two laps to box. Oh yeah, cheers, thanks for dropping by. We're just maintaining, or trying to. Gonna be a good long night for us, hopefully. Now you're here. Yes. I'll just pop out for five minutes or something. Yeah, that's cool. So you have crew chief. I have crew chief. A lot of pedals. Response to truck dress. Response to truck. Yeah, thanks, Wake. Cheers, mate. Have a good night.
So you got a GT3 coming up six seconds down. No, 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 no. Oh, GT3 coming up. Darton, you will want to get this car fixed. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking whatever repairs we can. Blue flag. Coming on your left. Left side. Clear left. Clear. Good stuff, man. Uh, you can come in at the end of this lab if you like. How many laps have I done? That's the important part. Yeah. You've done 16 laps total. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll put. Siapa? Yeah, wake up next. I'm next in the car. Looks like R for R mode is more disconnected. Yapa, do you remember the original brake bias? Uh, that's a negative. Because it's somehow set to 40 here somehow. I don't know why it keeps on doing that. I don't know, see it I recall it as 40. Was it just 40? All right. Checked, so oh, I haven't driven the setup, so I can't remember.
Oh, thanks, Strauss. Are you ready, Bowder. sir? Balcony boy, I am very much ready. I'm in the seat. <coughs> There's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Activate limiter, we don't have enough data for that. Yeah, you can take a break, Kurt. I'll uh, do the spot for a while. 33 seconds, not bad. But get it fixed for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll get just it. Retrieve our turn. We're getting it fixed. Don't you worry about that. Do, 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 do. It's time. It's time. I've been, I feel like I've been waiting a long time for this by now. Oh, you have. Let's see <laughs> on. Why was that off before when I got in? That's strange. Oh, well. Yeah, well done, Curtis. I agree with Doc on that one. Oh. We won't be reading too much chat from now on. I'll try not to at least. Oh, God died on me for a second there because I oh. forgot about the glitch. Good timing. I gotta go let my kid in. I'll be right back. All right, Kurt. All right, here we go. Exit is clear. Push now. Kind of feels alright though, I'd say. Yeah, to here. yeah that's nice. So nice cues, copy that. Can you turn up yourself a little bit, Yama? Uh, yeah, hold on. is better perfect man perfect i said no excuses <laughs> Hey, man. Did you get the car fixed? Yeah. Minimal talking right now. <laughs> I just need to take care of this first traffic. You can just get in the groove nice and easily. I'm still showing a big bump in the hood. On your right. Still there. Right side's clear.
it's gonna be quiet with traffic for a while now. Yeah. Sleep tight, wake. See you in the morning, perhaps. I'm just gonna be trying to get into the groove nice and easily here. You're looking rock solid, mate. Super good. Yeah, I took it very easy to fix the brake balance because I really don't want to be caught out. I have not driven this car. I can't brake balance 40. No. Uh, and it's so I, I put it back to 45 something. I don't know. Yeah, 45 to too. All right. 45 five. Oh, gave it a bit more after I looked then. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about it, the details. Did me a heckin' bamboozle. <laughs> yeah, you're looking good. First GT3 is 30 seconds back. Alright. 18 seconds to the first TCR ahead. So you're slowly catching the cabot Porsche. All right. That's running again, apparently. Six seconds out. He might be off here. He's slow on the left hand. I see him. Dude, he He's is very slow. He's, he has big damage. Good job. 
I think he bent it just before you came up to him. Yeah, he looked so sketchy. Bonk. Yeah, he hit the barrier hard before. Oh. He just didn't turn. That explains. Yeah, so you're gonna be taking P5 on this lap. Uh, R4R still hasn't started moving. He was doing a 170 kilometers an hour on the straight. Wobbling <laughs> left to right. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that should be P5. You're looking really good. Just find the rhythm. Yep, P5. Yeah, that disconnected. Yeah. But that means we beat David Pitt David Pittard, though, the real life GT3 driver. That's not a bad thing to do, even if it's through no fault of his. Well, that's true. Oh, it actually was his fault. He was you the last. Him it? He was the last guy in the car. That is not a bad scout to pick up. So how do TCR six and a half seconds? How do you see it? Yeah. There's another one twenty six seconds ahead. First GT3 AT. Back. Slower class car ahead. Left side, clear left. Nice one. Thank you.
flag. Yeah, the GT3 is lining up behind you. I'll let you know he's still a second back. Alright. He'll get you on the exit here. Yeah, left crashed. side, left side. Got him. Hold your line. Clear left. The next one's 30 seconds out. There's gonna be a few of them coming up. <laughs> racing verb. Racing verb. Real racing verb. The verb of speed. <laughs> Plus ten traffic management. I think if you just fuel save minimally, you should be able to make six laps still. It says 6.2 on the black box right now. Oh yeah. 6.0 now. Yeah, don't worry too much about it. We'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah. That TCR park there was actually for position. Yeah, I saw that. Nice one, Juice. This is terrific. GT3, exactly 2.7 oh, seconds five. behind as well. Blue flag. Watch out for traffic. Hold your line. There's one more, two Clear seconds left. behind. Frame rate drop when going past the pits there. 
Mm. Okay. I think it was a bit of a pit round for a few cars. The car ahead's pitting now. Next GT3 is 40 seconds back. Perfect. Suck me daddy! Suck me daddy! But in reality, you, you're quicker than him, so... <laughs> yeah. But still. The GT3 is being held up by the TCI you're catching. Inside five seconds. Yeah, I see him. Traffic through the foxhole. Always a nice place, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Car right. Clear right. stuff again. Suck to the side by just riding that very steep curb there. Yeah, just touching it kind of sucks yeah. you in sometimes. Yeah. I forgot to close the window in my kitchen, and it's fucking cold in my apartment now. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. window 24 in all of its <laughs> <laughs> fully its realist. reality. I can't feel my feet. Oh, so the immersion. Like, yeah, I'm even cold in the car. Oh, that was slow. That's 4D sim racing for you. Yes.
see why this is tough for a car to endure. Yeah. In real life, even if you don't pin it. Behind his pitting. <coughs> so we? Twelve right. seconds to the next GT3. Very slow moving out here up ahead. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Watch out, he's still on track. Almost not moving. He's stationary on the exit here. Stay to the right, stay to the right. You're coming up on a slower car. Cheers. Yeah, he's really weird. It's kind of hard to predict what he was doing. Yeah. Wasn't the best spotting I've ever done. <laughs> but it's alarming with such a guy because one thing is being slow, but another thing is being slow and then continuously being slow on the racing line. Yeah. G3 five seconds back. And another one 15 seconds back. Roger that.
Okay, Juice. There's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. Got a jam. Left side. Car left. Clear left. Good job. Next one, six seconds back. All right. Faster class car behind. Car right, right, right side. Clear right. Go on. Fifty seconds until the next one. So a bit of a break. Nothing ahead. I think you're catching a damaged GT3. Yeah, I'm seeing that. There's a faster car approaching.
it looks like it's burning a bit more fuel than we were expecting, so uh, three laps to go. All right. On this thing. Rev match is in the pits, but I can't tell yet if it's from anything more than a pit stop. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah. Red match is still in the pits. It's not looking annihilated, but uh, it's still in the pits. And so they're sitting P3 in class, P4 in class is CCTS. They've just been in the pits and had damage repair. Their car is still dented as well, so I think it's everyone's ran out of quick repairs now. Yeah, we're not the only ones. No, so we're just we're still battling them on survival. Still have another 23 seconds back to the next GT3. And you're slowly catching up to Cabot again, 50 seconds out. All right. Rev match is still stationary.
15 seconds on the GT3s, and there's basically three of them. Copy that. In close proximity. The fuck, uh, the steering is bent. No, fuck. I, I think we got a tow. We got a tow. Yeah, we got a tow. We got a tow. Fuck, I'm so fucking sorry. Ah, oh, fuck. We haven't got that data. You got coughed to death, boy. Oh, that's just unlucky. As soon as the rose goes down there, you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Well, it lasted for a couple of laps. It looked pretty okay. You're Solid. doing really well. It was okay. It was good. It was how I wanted it to be. Yeah, uh. you, sh you showed the rookies how you should do a start of a stint. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you did brilliant. Thanks, man. Sucking up, fuck off. <laughs> oh, okay. Look, he had to sit. He had to sit through two of mine. So I'm gonna go take the chance to close the window in the kitchen. Probably get some heat back in the. Yeah, I think you'll have time with the repairs. Yeah. I don't. I can't see yet. I'm still sewing for. Yeah, three, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying. I don't so. think it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> No, 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 and I, I, I like, uh, you know, you try to correct, and I'm getting a feeling that if I didn't, we could have just took it, you know, straight on, and straight on is usually pretty good in the 9-11s. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. It's one of the worst turns you can do to lock up. Yeah. You did lock up, right? Um, Before the turn, or did you break the line? Um, it looks like he just turned in a bit early and got bounced on the inside curb. Yeah. I'm watching the back. Yeah. It's weird how the backside slides a little bit as well. Yeah, that's a shame. I'll be right back. Yeah. Looked like he clipped on the side of the, uh, inside of the turn. I need a fucking flashlight to see those wheels. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he locked up. I think he just turned into the curb. And once you hit that curb, it's so hard. There's not much you can do, you know? Yeah, that was pretty heartbreaking. We were actually recovering. It looked like we might even have more to race for. Yeah. Hopefully the repairs can straighten the car. We'll have to see. Yeah, getting it back to drivability. Uh, that's the thing now. Yeah. I mean, it looks mostly like it's like it's impact things. I don't see a wheel that's completely bent the wrong way. The front might be a bit skewered.
It appears everyone else is out except for Cabort behind us. Yeah, I think uh, East yeah, Coast. Yeah, on the East Coast running anymore? Oh yeah, the only the only East Coast indeed and uh Cabort. Yeah. I'm not showing an East Coast car. Uh, car 64. Oh, I think that's a good guess, Doc. I think you might be right. I don't see him. I see him. He's still driving. So where's Durden? I'm, I'm here. Okay. I'm, I'm just in this silence of shame. Just get in the car so you can see if he repairs the bike. I am in the car. Okay. Um... So, I think yeah, it's... Okay. What happened, so... Oh, what? I'm it. It just says towing? Yeah, one second. Yeah, yeah race. There you go. Right. Uh, 11 minutes required and five optionals. Wow, good guess, Doc. Good guess, that counts in my book. <laughs> Damn, dude's got some experience. <laughs> You've obviously tried this before, Doc. Could you just, uh, Devin, could you just squeeze the brake so it holds it? I yeah. think I think that should do the trick. I'm not sure. It's, yeah, maybe it was mainly with the quick repairs, but uh, just to give it some chance of actually repairing. Yeah. The repairs are taking down. Yeah, that wouldn't be the issue. But. Okay. Oh, so it's, uh, what do you mean? There's a bug that it that it actually doesn't repair, even though it says it's repairing. When we it took that was what happened with the quick repair we took. Were you there? Yeah, um, no, I was sleeping. Okay. We took the quick repair, uh, um, and I think it fixed the car, but we still had the yeah. meatball when we went out. Yeah. So we had to get them to clear the penalty, and we got us a cut cut track penalty of 14 minutes. Oh yeah, yeah, that I saw that. That's what I woke up for, basically. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, that's so, I can't. I won't be holding the the load cell breakdown for 15 minutes. I'll no. tell you that much. <laughs> and yeah, I'll get back on it, Doc. It was it was a stroke of bad luck. It was quite annoying, but uh, that's what happens. The engine is turned off as it should be, so we're not burning it off by having the repairs. The car ahead spitting. The rev match Porsche is in the pits as well behind us. Yeah. It's looking pretty gnarly too. It's really become a war of attrition this. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> I'm off to bed, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Maybe. Cheers, yeah, we'll see Maybe. you in the morning. <laughs> Good, night. Good, night. Good luck. Keep safe.
we'll we'll need it and we'll try our best. Yeah. I will dream of a victory. Make it true. <laughs> good night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> See you, mate. I felt like I was keeping a safe distance to things, and then I managed to cock it up anyways. Yeah. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, you were looking so dialed as well. And then in one corner you weren't, and then death. <laughs> That's how this fucking track is, you know, it's... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, but that's the deceptive thing about this track is that you, like, you'd been driving for quite some time, but you'd only seen that corner four times. Yeah. <coughs> so, like, you really need to tell yourself that you're not dialed, and, like, you'd been driving for so long that you were starting to gain pace, you know? But... Yeah. You sort of, I feel like you need to hold yourself back a bit more here. Yeah, that's true. Because 25 minutes is three times, four times past the corner. Or I mean, at the rate we're getting repairs done one time past the corner. <laughs> Here's some engine running. Is that the car? Who's that? Who's the car behind us? Who's got the engine running? Is that his engine going? It sounds like it's <coughs> neutral. Like it's running. Oh yeah, it's him. It isn't particularly smart. I'm pretty sure it's him. This is interesting. You gotta go into the engine? <laughs> yeah, I'm just passing through <laughs> the car. Oh, this is a funky angle. Side of the oh yeah, that's the funky angle. I'm just watching the stream, so I'm, <laughs> I'm just a little bit behind <laughs> on what's happening. <laughs> I want to have a look at you. Hello. Uh, Ten minutes of repairs are remaining on this one. Hey, random. What's Welcome up, mate? To... We biffed it again. Oh, this is intense, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to update the <laughs> uh, driving. Oh, yeah, fuck, I totally forgot about that. Ah, but hey. <laughs> blame you. Maybe that was why you crashed, though. That's definitely why I crashed. Didn't yeah, the... now that you think about it. Yeah, now that I think of it. It has nothing to do with the with the cold temperatures in my apartment and me trying my best not to clatter my teeth because I was like... I was probably freezing. I could close the window now and I feel the temperature rising immediately. It's warming up. Which is nice. Oh, we're going inside the helmet now, boys. This <laughs> we have yet to have had better like How about these angles though? Repair break repair break <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just clicking one button here. I'm just clicking one button what is going on? Oh he's moving his arms. <laughs> this is pretty weird. <laughs> Are you gonna do something weird, man? He is doing something. He was. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's touching the wheel. It's super weird. Oh, I think we're about to go for a ride here, and we're off. <laughs> That's gonna be an interesting ride. 
Do, do about a lapse time, I have eight minutes of repair stuff. Oh, Kabord is out as well. Just last fifth place. To uh, Tiziaka, I think. No, 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 no. To, to uh, East Coast. To, to the A team. Da, 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 oh, damn it. Da, da, da. <laughs> it's a shame it's so dark out here. I should really go back to us. I can stare at your face instead. <laughs> This is what we're doing late night. <laughs> this is the night shift. Oh, it's fading in and then he's gone. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is, of course, not in sync with. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, what's up, Bolly? Yeah, we're just trying to just trying to break the game because we've broken the car already. Time to break some more stuff. Hey, Bolly. Can you look to the side? Yes. Are you doing it? Uh, it's not, he's not doing anything. Oh, he's not doing it, what a shame. Yeah, we're repairing for about another 10 more minutes. No, just, just five and a half more. Five and a half more. Well, there five you and go. a half more. Do we have a pitch strategy? Uh, pitch strategy? Yeah. What do you mean? I just mean, what, what is the guy doing? Oh, it's already fully fueled. Yeah. And maybe it even changed the tires as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. What the hell? Yeah, man, we're just trying to keep it going. Just trying to <laughs> st stay alive for as long as we can, really. Yeah, I'm interested to see. I hope they've been able to fix the wheel damage. I'm interested to see some other races, racers faces. Oh, there we go, disco face. But he's all serious, his helmet is, you can't see anything. Look at this disco face though. <laughs> he's just having like a little chilled out. <laughs> just a little chilled out house party here. I need to get the thing back. This is a strange angle. <laughs> what you doing there, buddy? You racing? <laughs> He's looking pretty focused, to be fair. Oh yeah, Doc, that would actually be pretty sick. There's a bit of head motion in him, in the animation, but yeah, that would be really cool. Damn, that's a spacey uh, camera yeah. angle. 
I love how the purple, the purple actually makes his his clothing look like it's UV lighting, even though it is just purple. I think. Well, this guy doesn't have much light in the car. Maybe we can't see him. We got two minutes and 50 seconds left of repairs. There's so few guys with light in that car. Pretty disappointing. Let's go back to Disco Man. <laughs> I mean, Disco Man is leading the race, so obviously that would have been the way to go for everyone. Uh, no, Ollie, it's a uh, it's a league that's hosting like a special event for the league, basically. So it's called FBP, uh, and they're hosting this, and we got invited by our friends from another team called Imperium. And the rest is history, I suppose. <laughs> Coming back to stare at my boy. Oh, there he is. So, a minute and 20. I'm getting closer. So we're gonna be watching the rest of Durden's stint from this angle. I'm just not even... <laughs> I just wish we had some disco lights in the car. I miss... Yeah. I miss the RSR right now with this angle. I should actually see if I can save this angle because <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Does the RSR have disco lights? Yeah. Oh. Um. Five seconds. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. And we're off. Oh, no. Why? Oh, because the car had been off. Oh. That's what you get for not concentrating. For f I'm afraid I will get a black flag for that one. We will have to see. And then, out of pure, out of just not concentrating yeah, on You won't be getting a penalty unless you've gotten it yet. Take a breath. Get going. Okay, nice. What? How did that damage the damn car? Did it? I'm gonna. Uh, the car feels weird. I'm just gonna see if, is it just super cold tires or? It might just be the really cold tires after having been stationary for so long. I'm gonna try to ease into it. Yeah, the car doesn't look particularly fixed. Like, not at all fit. <laughs> That's a good point, Ollie. 
but I'm afraid it's more than this, more than that this time. Yeah, it's cup cars behind you. Yep. First one really close. Second one 16 seconds back. Yeah, cheers, Bob. You have a good night's rest, mate. Hope we'll be here in the morning for you to check in on. In on. But uh, we'll be doing what we can to make that happen. See you, mate. See you night, Bob. I think we could all use just a quick check in on Disco Boy. Oh, what's Disco Boy up to? He's just. He's still just dancing along. Oh, he's blue. Da ba dee da ba da, man. Uh, da, 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 da. 
That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Ah, I do feel a bit better. And back to the race. Car's feeling a lot better now that the tires are beginning to come up to temp again. That's good. Yeah, that's really it's good. That's, I'm something. really glad. Yeah, you got the reverence, Oli. Nice one, mate. <laughs> It's it's impacted. Let's yeah, just it's, let's it's just <laughs> leave it at that. Yes. Yes. Might be looking at seven laps. I think the engine isn't burning a lot of fuel. I think it's engine Basics. damage. All right. I'll keep an eye on it though. Perhaps I shouldn't rev it too much if it's engine damage. Yeah, I don't know, mate. Sort of just do what feels natural. Try to maybe yeah, yeah. try to limit it on the downshifts, maybe. Downshift yeah. a bit later. Yeah, that's a good idea. So the uh, rev match boys had a wreck a few laps ago. Okay. Or a lap ago. More? They're behind you now, still uh, three laps ahead. Alright. Behind you, maybe catch ins there.
Disco man is still good. Oh, that's good to hear at least. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Jimmy? Yeah, first lap after taking some extensive repairs, and it's not. Uh, I think our pit crew is starting to slack off after all the yeah. quick repairs. So the result wasn't amazing. Still trying to keep it rolling though. The P5 in class car is on our lap still and uh, the guys ahead have fallen into some trouble as well once or twice. So uh, all right. We'll just keep so going. <laughs> you came 10 minutes ago, Ali, while watching the stream. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> so. Just have a look. As he did five laps before the wreck, so I know, um, I think it might be. I think it might be a bit much doing more. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, Jimmy. Yeah, it's been a hard few months. Sending all of the, the, the best vibes I can. Have a good night, man. And yeah, I'm sorry about the delay, guys. Um, I didn't set it up for ultra low latency and with the duration of the stream it seems like it gets worse as time goes on, so I'll reset the stream again at some time at some point, but I just need to run this one for longer so we don't have a million parts again. GT3 coming up quick. Car right. Clear right. Well held Jesus. man. Well held. Jesus fucking Christ. P4, 911 is behind you, but he's fucked just like you, but he's a bit quicker. Yeah. Gonna get the space right here. This is not the place. But do such a thing, he might just have to wait up just for a moment. Right side, clear right, blue flag. Nice one. There's a wreck up ahead. Yellow flag, watch out. Two cars off. That's one. Yeah, that's it. You're clear. Second one is rolling. You're clear. Yeah. 
Second one is that Audi. The green one to the left. Watch out! Oh, yeah, fucking take hell! Take Good job. I, I read his mind. He was trying to get off the racing line, so it was okay. I mean, he. Did I mind trick? Yeah. Yeah. For Good once, stuff. they they were working. Don't find it happening too often, I must say. Lap 69. Nice. Feel my feet again! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of nice when racing, by the way. GT3, um. <laughs> GT3, six and a half seconds out. Just checking chat for the first time, it's the side of the accident, and I see that I just woke up, Doc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got focused on that car going off up ahead. Oh my god. Good save. Oh. Blue flag. Don't look at the thing going off yeah. up ahead. Yeah. There's a car in the pit lane. <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh, fuck. Oh, he hit the wall hard. That was a good save, mate. Thanks. <clears throat> he might be out for a while. He missed the soft barrier by like oh. a centimeter. Oh. <laughs> the leading Porsche Cup is 16 seconds back. First GT3, 41 seconds back. All right. I'll be back in a jiffy, so just stay cool. stay woke. I'm trying to stay woke? God damn it. Stay woke. <laughs> woke for life.
Um. Barbara would be absolute murder in chat towards the rev match guy. <laughs> he didn't quite rev match that. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we woke you, woke him up in a savage mood. a slower class car. <laughs> Gentlemen, or gentlemen. Good, good, sir. Well handled as well. I'm falling asleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Or see you tomorrow, Kurt. It's been a few hours. Yeah, basically. <laughs> night, night, guys. Good night. Good night, mate. Good Cheers. luck. Rubber side down. I'm gonna let him buy before the breaking zone. Car left. Oh, that clear left. Like, uh, sort itself out pretty much. Yeah.
Is Rev Magic still in the pits? Very good question. Uh, uh, I don't even see them. So that could mean that they're on track or that they don't have a driver in the car. Looks like that they don't have a driver in the car. You're the low mate? Yeah, I'm not wearing my headset properly. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Rev, Rev match is still in the pits. Yeah. You have a pretty solid gap, traffic wise. And you're slowly catching East Coast as well, so it's looking solid. Nice. I'll be back in two minutes or something. That's perfect. Yeah, sorry if I'm not reading chat, but it's the Nurburgring at night. And one of you who've tried that will understand perfectly why. Also, my actually my my chat viewing laptop screen just went to blank, so I can't even. That's probably good in the end. 
Let's just keep it that way. It'll be the dirt and monologues. <laughs> Not even those, no. Got plenty of those. Jesus Christ, that was fucking close. Pardon my French. Woo! Loudy loud. Just gonna turn turn it down a notch if I can. What's, what kind of wizardry is this? No one... No one stationary in the pits at all? I think that's the first time this race I've seen that. Part maybe from like lap one, you know? GP track.
GT3 is coming up by now. Yeah, that is. All right. Get that dealt with as safely as possible. Okay, Juice, there's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. 1.2 seconds. Damn, yeah, so it's quick through the corner. Still a distance, though. <coughs> yeah, I've seen him, don't worry. Car right, clear right. But the only reason why you didn't see a car station there in the pits is because no one's in the red match car. Oh! So we're st still catching up. So that makes sense. East Coast car is running abysmal laps and just had uh, damage repair as well. We bought the gut down by almost three minutes. Things coming out of the pit. Alright, wow. That's a big Murray! You saw the big Murray? I saw the big Murray out of the... It was so big that I caught it out the corner of my eye without even looking. I just recognized from from last weekend's stream what a Murray is. <laughs> yeah, regular viewers will recognize a good Murray when they see it. Slow car ahead. This guy's racing us for position. He won't get a blue flag. Oh, 
On your left. Clear left. Here come the GT3 cars. Oh, it's the GT3 leader. Yes. Thou Car left. Thou shalt send it on the left. Clear left. Now you're on the same lap as Rev Match, and I don't think they're coming back. It doesn't look like it, does it? No. What's up, Ben Grosso? Nice to see you at this late hour. Yeah, a bit more yeah, merry for in. you. There you go. Thanks for stopping by. And yes, Kurt's been in the car. He had a bit of a rocky start with a few incidents early on, but uh, he really composed himself. And ended up having a pretty good double spin. And uh, if we can keep the car alive, he'll be in again tomorrow. Okay, gotta get that authentic Murray Walker breathing. There's so much of him. I wish there was a place. Blue flag. Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. Well done. One more, four seconds up. That's perfect. Oh yeah, sweet salesman. He's a good dude. Yeah, he did well to compose himself. It's his first endurance race after all. So, kudos to him. <clears throat> I 
I just want to say that's not how you take that corner. No, no, it's not. <laughs> So how are you feeling? Doing okay. Getting a little hungry. But, uh... So with the stop at an odd time, you're sort of very in between. You've done like, this is your 10th lap. And I think you took tires during the stop. So I'm wondering if you want to do another. But I mean, I guess it won't matter if everyone else does their plan stints. It'll just make you have to run some more to the finish line. Yeah, I can't really concentrate about so much about that right now. I'm still driving. mistake YouTube for the one that comes before it that looks like it but isn't YouTube yeah I think I am about ready to take a break <laughs> at the end of the stint yeah looks and like I, it I, I don't know when my eyes is going to tears and that's really problematic Stop doing that. I'm not sad for fuck's sake. Alright. Don't forget to blink. Just yeah, try to recompose yeah. yourself. You have one lap to go. I have one lap to go, okay. Right. To be able to recompose myself for a single lap. I'm also getting a little stiff in the wrists, so I think it's better just to, to change now. There's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Yeah, it's just an Audi exiting. Just ignore it. Sorry, what? Nothing. I was just saying it was, oh. an, it was just a TCR car exiting. Oh. Because he gave me a warning, I figured he would have given you one too. 
Yeah, Jim just said that uh, while you said it, Jim was in the midst of saying, box this lap. That's why I couldn't hear what you said. Okay. It's alright. Never mind. You're clear behind, though, for the most part. Sweet. One GT3, 40 second gap. You read it again? Yeah. I'll uh, just go have a nerf test. That curve, da 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 da. Oof. That got very scary for a short moment there. And then it. Great. I'm grateful it just stopped being very scary quite quickly.
radio check. Two litres remaining. Air and track temps are increasing. Air temperature is now 18. The track temp is now 18 Celsius. <coughs> Bring it home now, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no more. Oh. Martin's already waking up. You're a bit early, Ooh. mate. I'm just about to start my double stint. We're still running. No more uh, quick repairs. Carrying damage. But improving position. P5 now. And catching P4 actually. Oh, I'm just, I think I'm just a bit tired and a bit game facey I'm about to get in. It's been good, mate. It's been okay. We've been persevering. Oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Break, 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 break. I know how I know that I'm supposed to break it. Is there someone? No, there's no, nobody coming up. No clear. What a fucking pillock! Yeah. What a fucking idiot! How dumb are you allowed to be? I want to send that dude back to school to be te taught just one word and the meaning of it. Patience. Yeah, he can see my flashing still. Fucking cunt. I even managed to avoid his mega send in the first place and not crash directly as a result of that, but yeah. of him over sending and then crashing in front of me. Fucking idiot. Oh well. That's the guy. He right there. That's the guy. All right, get out. It's giving me one second of optionals. Why has it only put in? Oh, nothing. I think I will be right back. Come on, magic one second of optionals. Treat me good.
So the car handles pretty decently at least, so... Yeah. Might still have something to do here. If the engine survives. Yeah. But I think that magic one second of optionals gave us everything we needed. Believe. Oh, I was muted. <laughs> I've been... Okay. Uh, I've... Sorry. So sorry. That's no worries. I wasn't... I didn't need it. It was, no, more, no. It was more stressful that you came back like that. <laughs> I, I guess. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'll stay composed. Just overtook P3. In class. Yeah, that's very nice. But I also just pointed out how you, uh, how you held up the guy who mega sent it upon us from before, like a proper pro. He's Kabor. 
Take a board. Jesus. Jeez. Thought he was leaving the door open. Yeah, it looked like that as well. Yes, the car feels pretty good in the Nord's life and then you get to the Dutzinger Hill and then you're just like... Uh, uh. So you got next GT3 around 20 seconds down right now, so a bit of breathing space. Cool.
looking really good there, mate. Four seconds down to the GT GC3 behind. Yep, thanks. looking really solid mate the next gt3 is 16 seconds back roger redo cheers ingresso have a good night mate see you in the morning hopefully Solid pace, mate. That's really good. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about the driver graphics. Thanks for giving me the heads up. I think I think I can do it.
Nice multitasking there, Trasolino. Yeah, those hotkeys really help you out a lot. And a good oh, keyboard yeah. and a good good keyboard position as well. Sounds like two vital ingredients. Dude, my ghetto rig is so sophisticated. <laughs> with, so sophisticated. The, with the keyboard on the chair and the mouse on the chair as well, but at an angle. So if I want to use the mouse, I turn the chair. And then when I'm not using the mouse, for like when I'm racing, I can just sort of turn the chair a bit. And then I have the numpad that has all the hotkeys turned towards me. I can still reach the mouse if I need to. East Coast has just got into the wall. Oops. Yeah. So we... It's a good chance we'll be battling them for fourth. Not too long. And it could be wheel damage. I'll have a look. He's at the Schwalbenschwanz right now, but he's they're really suffering. Game uh, half a minute on him, last lap alone. stuff mate Ah, uh, not the best exit ever. Onto the mountain. <clears throat> the next car is the GT3 of Sins. He's here again somehow. He's really energized. His last name is Mate. So he won't make a mistake, he's hyper aware. I think he's just pretty hyper and that's it. <laughs> oh, don't tease me daddy. Whoop. Go on board with him.
trying to send it. I was directing it. Yeah, I know. Directing the play. Steven Trailsberg. Very, very, very well directed indeed. Whoa! Bit of a recall of the moment you had when I left last time. Yeah. Whoop! That one I made up myself. <laughs> looking really good we've got almost a minute to the next GT so nice bit of breathing space here <clears throat> Just put in two 842s in a row, that's very nice. What's the gap to East Coast? Um, you can see it on the lap timing board, I think. On the black box. Black box! On the same it's, lap. Uh, Four minutes fifteen. Thanks. Welcome morning. back. Good morning. Good morning. How are we holding up? Yeah, all right actually. I see Revmatch uh, has died. Yeah. Shortly after passing us, actually, I just went straight on in the braking zone after touching a hill. Oh, don't do that. Missed the soft barrier by like a few centimeters. Yeah. 
I've had a bit of a biff, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I had one biff. That's not too bad. Car seems okay looking at the laps. We had two bins actually. <laughs> with oh. the with the traffic thing. Oh yeah, but that was very small the other one. Yeah. In a way I actually think it was good because I got one second of optionals and the car looks better from my angle than it did before. So we rebiffed it. Yeah, sometimes you gotta break a few eggs, you know? Yeah yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's. Oh, that, I take that as a personal offense. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. Man, 2019 with all these <laughs> sensitive people around. Jeez. Of it. Yeah, after the incident, he recovered pretty well. Turned yeah, in a good few stints. Okay when I left. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad to hear that that held up. Yeah, he did really well to recompose himself. I'll set up the next pit stop for no tires and 96 fuel. Yeah. by now I see yeah yeah I was still at 40 when I came in the car or oh, when I got <laughs> when I got in the car yeah <laughs> That's, I mean, I'm fine with pissing in our seat but jeez oh, a bit far there. <laughs> this is the true late night HCRT <laughs> It's a habit you probably uh, carried over from the truck sim, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. Did you uh, murder anyone today? Did no one get that no, joke? No, actually, I almost got murdered myself. Oh yeah, that's true. That's not a very truck thing to do. No, I mean, maybe he mistook Jordan for a prostitute. Yeah. It is. That makes sense. It is very. Way, it is very dark on the track. On the inside, that was. Yeah, it's exactly what you thought of me. <laughs> what do you think I am, a prostitute? <laughs> <laughs> I think we might get a stop and go if we say that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not do that. So Kabord Korea is actually still running. Yeah. Perseverance. That's. Uh... Dedication it reminds me of our first 24 hours. It Except for the fact that the fact that we were far from last in our first 24 hours. Yeah. Well, in the end, like it took a while to to get loose from the bottom. <laughs> I mean. Oh, and R4R oh. is gone as well. Yeah. So we're beating. Uh, what's what was his name? David Pittard. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't think. I and don't he. He was the one that crashed to make it even better. He was the one that crashed, so we did actually beat him in a way. And then Revmatch has also died. And East Coast is four minutes up the road. Oh, CCTS is far ahead. We lost quite a bit of time. Yeah, we had, what? 14 15 minutes of repairs from the first biff didn't have yeah oh yeah of course they've ran out of quick repairs as well because their car is biff too i think we can somewhat assume that most cars have ran out maybe not the first two but ccts east coast and cabord have definitely ran out <laughs> Yeah, that's a retweet on the last one. I think the first two guys are actually still fine because they're still in the same lap as well. 
They seem to be uh, somewhat close. Even Martin Escher is still killing it. He's putting in those 28 still. What a fucking legend. Yeah, we don't do that here. 28. What do you think this is? Some kind of pro race? No, but you're only a few oh, seconds. Hmm? Only a few seconds off of uh, Florian Krüger, pace-wise. Yeah. Really good stuff, man. Remind me to do my nerve piss because I'm drinking a lot of coffee right now. I think your body will do just fine if reminding you of that. Yeah, but I hope it's not doing that. But Martin, 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 yes. that's what the seed is for. That's what the seed is for. <laughs> that's, that's what the seed is for. Let me say, I know. My bad. The pitch blackness of the dark has actually sort of peeled off already, it seems. It's like semi pitch dark now. I've I've changed that one setting that really made the night glitching better. The one called something with a number and the SCPF in the video yeah. settings. If you turn that up to 16, the shading glitch improves a lot. Four. Yeah, way up to the highest number. Oh, the number of lights you mean? No, there's a drop down menu if you click on the one called something with oh. SCPF4. Yeah. Okay. Mine, mine's on 16. That seems to at least improve it a bit. I'll see if my frame rate uh, handles that. Mine seems unaffected, and I think your PC is better than mine. Uh, it seems okay, I'll scroll through the field a bit. After like cleaning my, my stuff and uh, cleaning the SSD, it's actually been running at 106. Block. Mm. Yeah. So, that, like, I didn't upgrade anything and it's now running uh, 20 f FPS more easily. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's just cleaning the fans and switching over the SSD. Nothing else. Make for quite a difference. I was quite surprised. Are you ready to take over crew chief duties, Manny? Marty? Mm, yeah. Cool. Uh, it's not, you're not that busy, there's not a lot of traffic. I can totally monitor it on my own. Alright, because I'm gonna give my computer a little break then. My FPS has been dropping a little bit. Also, I was driving myself, so I'd like it to just cool down. I'm gonna turn it off for a bit, I think. Then come back. Maybe yeah. also catch some rest. Yeah, you're gonna need to be in again, so you uh, take it easy. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, but piss in your seats, boys, and I'll see yeah. you later. Will do. Thank you. Yeah, see you, mate. The true graveyard shift. 
<laughs> yeah, there's something about them. Graveyard shift. It's good in a way. Yeah, it has its charms. It's underrated charms. That's what I always thought in like the, the Max Verstappen and uh, like Jimmy Broadband streams as well. The guys carrying the graveyard shifts there, they're absolute fucking legends and nobody bets a fucking eye. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah, and they're frequently quicker than Jimmy is. Yeah. Like the one that ran with uh, Max Verstappen in the 24 hours of spa as well. Nobody even knows who the fuck he is. Oh no, that was uh, Max Beneke. He's yeah, the, that was the other one. E wasn't was that uh, evil, evil Hövela maybe even? Was it? I'm gonna have to look that up. It was someone, some sort of pro eye racer. It was uh, Max Vini. Max Vini, yeah. Oh yeah, it was Max, oh. Max, Max, and Max. Yeah. And Lando. That's it. Yeah, pace is not one hundred percent where it should be, but it seems quite okay. It's not too bad for being biffed. I've seen worse. like the car feels all right it's just lacking a bit of power yeah, same as, as the audi that we had yeah in the 24 feels fine it's just slow yeah. you can make it uh, you can make a bit of a difference by going quickly i improved quite a lot on the times we've been having but yeah. there's just a limit to how much i can yield it been set I see so I'll be in the car at 530 ish send me a message when I was getting out of his Nasty as bed. Oh yeah, he's gonna show up quite early as well. He's gonna show up during my first stint. So that's good. I just took a bit of time to actually wake up, get some food, get some coffee. Yeah. You can I keep don't. you can still sorta of keep doing that for a while. It's it's not very busy anymore. Yeah, but you know, maybe Dern wants to get off, maybe uh, I need to, or maybe I wake up bad, you know, I yeah. like to have a bit of margin. Yeah, that's true. You know, getting two or three hours is quite refreshing, yeah. so that's enough. It's actually uh, the best I've had in any endurance, so uh, I feel pretty good. I'm going to get the same after this. It's gonna be my first sleep, so obviously it's gonna be my best. <laughs> well, you can just stay in bed. You don't have to come out. No, and I mean, I wasn't jealous of your wireless headset before, but I would like a wireless life now because I can still see the screens from my bed. <laughs> the, the headset just still doesn't reach. Charged. It's been in the charger for like four hours now, and when I pulled it off, it did keep running. So, uh, it has charged, because before it just, when I pull it out, it uh, would die immediately. But it's still giving low battery life, things so I've mm. just, like, re-guided my wire, so it's not that much in the way wheels driving, so it's gonna be fine, but it didn't... I don't know, it's, no. It's not a very good wireless headset, then. 
it, it's a very good wireless headset. There's just something I'm doing wrong, I guess. Something, something's not matching up. So I just, something. I just saw how busy this lab is gonna be. I have three, four, four TCRs in front of me that I might catch in this lab. Yeah, just the fucking need it, mate. You'll be fine. I'm gonna kill them all. I can get two for one up here if I aim right. Yeah. Two for one. <laughs> Actually, back down into the thirties by now. Oh yeah, would look. Would you look at that? It wasn't even that crazy of a lap. No. But uh, time's pretty good. Yeah. GG on that one. Oh, big starter there. Yeet. It's very quiet in the Discord, the 24 hour Discord as well. Yeah, I think every team is running minimal staffing now. <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck with that. No. But I am gonna fuck with this. Ooh. Spicy. Yeah, more than it needed to be, but I was scared of him. Yeah, and then he seemed to get really confused and maybe frustrated by it, but that's his thing. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not sure if he would have sent it if he kept the racing line, to be honest. I wouldn't have done anything if he kept the racing line, I would have just oh. chilled the fuck out. That's what I thought. He braked more than he needed to, too. So I thought he was just giving me the door. Yeah, he was just being super careful. Yeah, but then he stayed sort of alongside me on Apex, which yeah. was weird. A bit of confusion there. Well, it's good to see that Curtis recovered like, quite nicely as well. Yeah. of fuel in the tank so that's going to be one more after this oh my east coast one minute and 17 seconds ahead oh something happened i have two cars for position about a minute and something out a tcr and the east coast porsche we're investigating oh they've just had their pit stop and maybe some repairs Oh yeah, I should be do that pit stop this this lap, I guess. Mm. Or oh, one more. Might be one more. We'll have to it's see. One point eight laps now. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you, buddy. You are now that I noticed it myself. <laughs> I'm kidding, mate. I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't need me. Not as a crew chief, anyway. 
No, and I think, you know, the time where we ran out in the six hour race also shows that that's one of those things the driver needs to pay attention to as well. And yeah. You can't just put on blinds because there's other people in the team, you know? Yeah. It should be race engineer's responsibility, but... Yeah, but the driver might as well. It's it's one yeah. click of a button if you have the black, mac, black, map, the black box toggle thing. Yeah. yeah. I have my black box stuff set up, and, and usually I'm, I'm kind of used to doing it myself anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think that's because we do quite a lot of the sprint races, you're used to dealing with traffic, dealing with pit stops, you're pretty much used to doing the entire process by yourself. Yeah. The only thing I find nice is to have someone to like, use his brain for doing calculations and stuff. Yeah. But even that is like, it's optional. I don't really need it. So we might come to a point somewhere in the future that we can actually run people on their own in an endurance race. Yeah, I think we're already at it, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't mind facing a double stand alone if I was feeling yeah, fresh yeah. and motivated. Well, let's do a 24 hour with the two of us then. <laughs> let's go. Let's fucking get it. <laughs> No, 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 Didier! The door is still closed. The no, 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 no. The door is open. The door is open. And with my engine damage, you should get it done really easily. But he's not getting it done really easily. Bit of a lift, bit of a lift to Rooney. Bit of a lift. Yeah, I think I've kind of misjudged how natural some things have become for us uh, as compared to like the new guys coming in. Like, yeah. The traffic, I, I basically almost forgot about how hard that actually is. Yeah. And then seeing Kurt struggle with it, I was like, yeah, I I should have warned him about it. Yeah, that. yeah, we should have. We took that stuff for granted. Yeah. As far as letting new people in the team, that's true. Yeah. So I took the extra lap. I have, it says 1.3. Yeah, I saw that. I kind of figured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty unnecessary to say as well. <laughs> Like we did our first 24 hour with not that much practice, but there was Spa in a GD3. I think that's in so many ways easier than doing a Porsche around Nürburgring. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. we had it easy and even we struggled like quite a bit. Yeah. No, the Mercedes did a big slide. What am I getting blue flag for? The TCR car? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah. Whoa, 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 got distracted by a big light blob that's there. There's like a bug. Huh. I had a bit of a uh, patch of smoke hanging around there, so that might... Yeah, the... yeah, I just had like the ghost of the smoke left. Oh. Whoa, whoop, whoop, whoop. Somehow not an off track. Oh. Yeah. Somewhat of a surprise. Pretty miraculous, if you ask me. Maybe not miraculous. It would be a pretty sad miracle. <laughs> Jesus has returned! <laughs> oh, well, I don't know if that's Jesus. He's gonna have to prove something. <laughs> and he's just like, Have you ever heard of iRacing? <laughs> and no one's ever heard of iRacing. We're at a 60x collectively. Oh, 
Hahaha! GG! Whoa! That was one-handed, like a full drift. Recovery. Something in the back of my head went, yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. I think it would have been as well. Yeah. It's like uh, 9 to 10 odds that you're gonna hit the wall there. Ooh. Is that your seat you're pissing in? Yep. Like a big slosh as well. Sounds like a hard seat. <laughs> <laughs> sounds sounds really uncomfortable. Yeah, well, I'm used to hard. As far as that goes, hard and cup-like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, weirdly enough, it says that we've gathered sixty and a half X's. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure where the half one is coming from, mm -hmm. but uh... that's a rare one. Hello, Rebel Tree. Rebel Tree is well lit, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So Yappa's done here really well. He's only got a zero X. Good job, Yak Yappa. Good job. Yeah, Curtis has definitely been struggling the most because he. Uh... Is responsible for almost half the axes we've got. He's got 24. Yeah, most of us had solo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, take it easy. Phew, I just missed my exit. My apex. That was all. Yeah, but his all of his incidents were with. Um, he had a few contacts with other cars, and that's four x. Yeah. Are you coming, David? He is coming. Like a good boy. Oh, uh, that's really gross. <laughs> oh, there he go. Get it. Get it, David. But not before the kink. He's uh, holding off. I don't think he's keeping up up the mountain. Oh, he let off the throttle. Oh, did he now? He is keeping up, but he's holding off. Holding off big time. Still holding off. Still there. Now he's coming. But now is the dumbest time to come. Yeah, that's not a good time. Come what on, is David. he doing? But he's looking for love in all the wrong places. Yeah, what is up, David? Now you go. There he is. Oh, it's the FBP team. They've been having a bit of trouble throughout the race. Yeah, don't trust the rear tires if you short shift. 
on that crest. Assuming your crew chief will take over again. Did we do 69? Uh, 69. 96 last time uh, around? No, I did 100 last time around because I could do an extra lap. And I think I did it as well. Uh, you want to take 100 again? Uh, I was carrying extra fuel last time, so I don't think I can do it again. He came in the box with like... <laughs> <laughs> he came in the box with like 10 liters or something. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Get in there, Lewis. Boxy, boxy, boxy. Get in there. I'm uh, still at uh, 96. Yeah, I think it's fine. I only have, it's not enough fuel to do the extra lap now. Okay. It's nice to not have to pass the uh, cardboard car for once coming into the pits. Yeah. I'm used to seeing them sit there. <clears throat> I was gonna do a few laps of practice, but then I figured I might need the the strength in my arms and my legs <laughs> for two hours to come. That's a good point. Yeah, it should be intuitive enough that you can feel it out pretty quickly. Yeah, but it's the the muscle memory not being in place that really fucks you up on, on like in your new setup sort of thing. Yeah. So I haven't had a lot of laps in yet, but it'll come. I'm just gonna take it really fucking easy. Cause if I, I biff it now, we're dead. So the car up ahead was only 48 seconds out when we came into the pits. So we're definitely gaining. I'm gonna see what their lap times are like. East Coast. Yeah, the guy that's in... Oh. Oh. Everyone. Like, the current stint and the stint before have all been nine minutes. There's not a single eight minute in there. Oof. So you're going to be catching up. Like, <clears throat> big time. At this rate, you might even catch him in your stint. Because we're, uh... But... Having to take a guess here, but it's gonna be one minute, 15, 20 ish, out. And he's doing like uh, last two lap times were 9:08 and 9:10. So that's uh, that's a, a lot of pace you're carrying compared to them. We're catching up with uh, 20 seconds of the lap. Yeah, I guess the car isn't. <laughs> I guess the car isn't very well. That's the too bad. Best, shape, best of shapes now. Then there's a CCTS there just doing 50, so they're, uh, if nothing happens to them, I think they're gonna be too far out yeah. for a long time. It would be really cool to catch up to them, but uh, there are three laps up the road, so they need a crash, which is still very possible. Okay. Ooh. Good call to hold off there. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's still one of the funniest two second videos. There we go. The 
CCTS car is fine though. So they might even have a Fez repair in the bag still. Ah, uh, pricks. Yeah, but it might have been their last one they've used, but the car is fine. That's all I'm saying. So they could... I mean, we're only halfway into the race, so... Yeah. Anything can happen still. The podium is pretty much still to play for. Then again, we might also crash our, ourselves. Yeah, there's a good chance of that happening too. That, that's always an option. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit skeptical still, but let's uh, just keep it in there, do whatever we can do, and see what happens next. Yeah, I'm just hoping to turn the car over in good shape. That's basically Don't turn all we want. The car over. Oh, yeah, that's a good part. <laughs> no, I'll. I'll leave it unturned. In that way, uh, Jordan's first 24 has been some sort of similar to yours. Yeah. Oh, yellow yeah. flags. Someone's rolling. He's in the wall. He's stationary. I think it's Miss Hit Miss. He's stationary. There he is. Still stationary. You're rolling. That's a nasty place to be. Is that again? Yellow. No, it just took a while okay. to clear. I oh, Jim was just screaming at me again. <laughs> I don't know, I think my spider is going quiet. He had to do like some sort of Austin Power moment where he was just like <laughs> at 90 degrees because the hit miss hit miss is that's not a wide part of the track. Instead had to do some sort of a five point turn. <laughs> I wonder when Lawrence is gonna pit. He should have a pit stop coming up soon. Oh. He has been in. He's only on his fourth. Yeah, okay, so three yeah, more laps. Yeah, we're about uh, half stint off. that far up the road for something but for someone that's like 20 seconds slower left it's coming up to the ditching area now for reference Of coffee? Cup. You prick. <laughs> Big fat cock. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you even made the slurping sounds, man. <laughs> Gotta love a big fat black cock. No milk. <laughs> <laughs> Late night. Just focus on your driving, man. <laughs> I don't want you spinning off thinking of cock. <laughs> I was more thinking about the disturbing lack of milk.
Give me the sack. Give me the sack. Give me the sack. Yeah, give me the sack. East Coast still doing those sweet as nine minutes. Give me a big black sack. This is a pretty big black sack. This is a big sack. I'm a regular cup car, daddy. <laughs> I'm doing regular cup car speeds. Look at me go. Speaking of top speed, how's Comport doing? <laughs> Comport is actually lapping quicker than East Coast. Right now, they're doing nine minutes flat. Oh, shit. Oh, they are doing very short stints, though. Four laps each. Maybe they've just agreed that that's the maximum amount of pressure they want to deal with. It seems like it. Yeah, four stints, four stints. Uh, four laps, four laps. Three laps, five laps. <laughs> One of them is doing like 10 minute laps each. Oh, there's a whole set of uh, GC3s coming up. Yeah. Thank God they got to me on the on the GP. Oh, sorry. Guess I could have left that door open, actually. He's going for it now. BMW is not taking any prisoners. No, he is not. Oh, you love to see it. Send it. There you yeah. Guess he was held through as well. Six drivers in a team is way too many. Yeah. Even for a 24 hour event, I'd split it into two times three once we get a bit more experience. Yeah. I agree. This one has pretty much just been like a, like a field trip for, yeah. uh, for Kurt and for Jordan and stuff. I agree. I think uh, four is probably the optimum number in a real life situation because there's going to be someone on the team. That has a, yeah. a time frame they can't race on. Yeah. So four is probably most of the time going to be the best. But if you have three guys that don't have any plans, I think that's great because it lets you have much more rhythm. Whoa. Yeah, like five or six. That's that's too much. Yeah. with other teams like it's fine it's fun for now but i don't think it works because you can can really notice that the ethics are different yeah yeah but i mean i don't think any of us was looking at this as like emerging but just no oh. no no just that i mean the i mean the joint venture thing yeah yeah no i agree no no i i i'd consider it again for a big race but yeah. But yeah, a lot of doing well in endurance racing is also building a culture that everyone sort of vibes with. Yeah. Which is a very hippie way of saying it. But uh, yeah, but I think that would work really, really well with like Jordan and Kurt coming in fresh. Yeah. Into the team, and they will just adjust. Exactly. Like you saw it with Kerr as well. He was already used to doing endurance racing, and that didn't go down well at all. No. Did a 35 just now. That's uh, pretty a spicy. Nine, 9.35 on uh, oh, 9.35. Oh, yeah, outlap. I made the same mistake. <laughs> I made the same yeah. mistake. 
I made it uh, quite a few times before in my head as well. It's the first time I'm actually letting it out. <laughs> Do you yeah, feel well, this is uh, one minute nineteen out. It's four position overtake time. Let's fuck him up. But only metaphorically. Wow. The rear got loose on me under braking there, but fortunately the car was suspended midair. <laughs> so it couldn't spin. Yeah, that was a spicy entry. That was, uh, he was fifth in class, so we're sort of re uh, regaining our composure compared to the TCR field. Yeah, I mean, I also just passed the leader in the TCR field, so there's still eight minutes to that guy. Yeah. At least. Not missing on. Yeah, he's one lap ahead. So eight minutes. More TCRs coming up. Just hit the curb while jumping, which is sketchy. That was how Curtis crashed one of the times. Yeah. Yeah, the team has been caught out by that corner twice now. That was a pretty wild pass on that fucking TZR. <laughs> that was spicy. So we're gonna have me, Jordan, Merlin, Kurt, pass. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Let's hope we uh, we make that. Yeah. But to be fair, the the guys are doing what they were doing once they ended their stints. We are looking to be fine. So uh, I have hope. Yeah, me too. Plus, I'm kind of hoping for the sun to not rise too late here. It's gonna be uh, eight GMT, a oh, seven GMT, eight hour time. Okay. So I'm yeah. just about gonna miss that. Jordan is gonna be uh, struck by sun sunrise, which can actually be quite off-putting. Yeah, but to be honest, I think that's the best we could have hoped for. 
I'm much, yeah. I'm, I'm much happier seeing the two most experienced guys, maybe outside of Merlin, in the team, take on the rest of the dark. Yeah. Merlin is, has had quite a bit more of a struggle than I was expecting to. Yeah. Maybe just a bit of bad luck, but still. Because he crashed twice. I wasn't quite expecting that. No, me neither. Then again, what do you expect on the Nurburgring? Yeah. Lawrence is uh, 50 seconds out. Yeah, we're catching pretty quickly. But I only have five laps to go. And they're still doing nine minutes. We should be catching them in uh, three laps. Which uh, fits into your current stint. They will be overtaking us probably doing the pit stops. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do it too. <laughs> like 100% sure. <laughs> yeah, Is it just me or have you seen that mark like a thousand times by now? Yeah, I feel like we've seen it a lot. Maybe? Jesus, had to counter steal when I hit the grass there. Mercedes and the Audi are matching up quite nicely for two cars that aren't in the same team. Yeah. That's the green hell. I really need to, to look into the new livery tomorrow. Yeah. Are you going with something like the idea you sent me? I hope so. I really hope so. It's so good, it's so just like you talk about Vivid, but in a really tasteful way. Yeah, I think I might tone it down in the way of uh, the colors going through each other. So maybe line it up a bit more, front to back. Yeah. But I think the idea is definitely there. Quite a unique color combination as well. Yeah, it is. And a really fresh one as well. Super yeah. nice to look at. It always catches my eye when I scroll through the conversation we have. We shared it. Yeah, I wanted it to be a thing before 2020, so that's going to be pretty soon. I'll just whip them up tomorrow, I guess. And then do the proposal, and if it gets accepted, then uh, we'll have it done. Then I can just get my ass to making deliveries. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Because we could really do with the PR stuff by now. We can always change the half the race gone stuff later because that's just going to be swapping one of the decals out. Yeah, it's just decals. It's going to be sad to see this livery go, but... Uh, yeah, it is. It's it's it feels like home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. You yeah, know, but I'd be really excited to drive the new car. I think. I think I'd feel cool in it, which I maybe yeah. don't necessarily do in these cars. I've always felt that it was a bit 
I don't know, just not like fully developed in a way. Yeah, it, it's a bit of an easy way out. It, it looks perfect for the un amount of effort that you have to put in to create yeah. them. But yeah. That was kind of the aim as well. So, uh, not to rub my own dick here, but I did really well. <laughs> yeah, no, no I, don't get me wrong, I totally agree. But it's just, um, I think it, it also feels like even just from since we joined, the delivery game has been raised a bit. Yeah. says on my profile yeah prefers good looking livery over a good setup also the widest boy on track the whitest boy <laughs> What do you mean? That's the racing line? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've really fucked myself up with exactly that mistake. Correction, that was fine. Thanks. I guess uh, I'm just not skilled enough. You haven't studied the line? I have studied it and failed. While you, while you were out getting drunk every other Friday, I studied <laughs> the line. <laughs> <laughs> My friends were actually kind of annoyed that I wasn't going out and getting drunk today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you could just get a face. You can always be bae. Sometimes you have to be femme. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I'm just fam. <laughs> All this time I thought we were bae. Turns out you're just fam. <laughs> How many laps in this thing? It's gonna be four. 30 seconds. Yeah, you'll get them. I haven't been keeping track of uh, CCTS, but let's not worry too much about that for now. No. They're doing their pit stop as we speak. Oh, their car is biffed! Ooh! Oh! I'm and gonna the, investigate. And they're still stationary. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, quick so no quick repair, yeah, exactly. Boink. Boof. Ooh. <laughs> what sound did it make again? <laughs> when they crashed? First the boink and then the boof and then I went ooh. Oh yeah. I thought maybe the car went ooh. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no, that car is uh, pretty biffed. It's fully boinked and boffed. Boff? 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 Even though that wasn't like a high speed crash, the car looks pretty bad. It's not looking nice at all. So that might open up a door. If we, we keep running. But yeah, that was a pretty big one, and it was far into the lap as well, so the tow is going to cost them a lot of time. Because if you crash like 
three quarters through the lap. It's uh, that's a hefty to toe. Six minute loss. I'm gonna check it again and see if I'm sure what part of the track that was. I wasn't that far into the lap. It was just before the the carousel, like halfway through. What a weird fucking place to crash, though. That's the one that catches you out if you're not crash prone. Oh, that's a stupid one, X. Yeah, he just completely, and I mean completely, misses his turning. He might that's be falling right. asleep. Yeah. barely bothers turning in at all. Oh well. sitting in the pits for like 10 15 minutes we'll see we'll see there's still four laps up the road anyway at the present i really feel like i could triple stint these tires but i guess there's no way i can do that with the time sharing right Stint would probably completely drop out, which would make him be in the car for only two hours. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So then we, you know, you could make it work by cutting either Merlin's or Curtis stint short, but I don't think that's a decision that's ours to make. No, I agree. So let's keep no. it at two. Yeah, I'll just have to settle for what I can get here. Yeah, but I do think that triple stinting is going to be a thing that we'll be doing in the near future. Yeah, because I've been been fine to do triple stints myself. Yeah, next race on a regular next race on a regular track with cold temperatures, we're going to be triple stinting. Yeah, let's try and get that in in the six hour events. Just the two of us, three each. Yeah. Yeah, good idea. That will be a good practice really goes to show in this event that the the feeling of the endurance race it just come has to come natural like you can practice so much like kurt did for instance yeah but it's i think like 60 70 percent is just muscle memory and ethics yeah i think like i pay so little attention to what i'm doing right yeah, now but that's like the trick yeah exactly 15 seconds. Hey, you're gonna fuck them up. You might even be that far ahead that once the pit stop gets done, we might still be ahead. Yeah, we'll have to right see. Right behind them anyway. How's CCTS doing? They're still in. So is this gonna be them being one lap ahead when I pass? Or no, two? no, they're more ahead. Okay. 88 we're at 85 so we're gonna be two laps down once we come through but that car is looking bad so it could be quite off the pace once it comes out 
It's actually the CCTS that's the Comic Sans team, but they oh, yeah. removed the Comic Sans from their car, sadly. But I feel like they started doing better once they did, to be fair. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I don't know, I've, I'm kind of happy it proves my, or like everyone's point about Comic Sans. Yeah. Anyway. completely forgotten that this stream is a thing, though I think yeah, nobody's around. I think it's really good that it's a thing that's just running on the side anyway. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna become like much more streamy for a 24-hour race. No. At any point. Maybe, maybe a bit. Oh, Once so you get have like a bit of brain power left. Side by side GT3, there's three of them. Ooh. Help me. Oh yeah, they're coming. In great numbers. Two of them are on the same map, so they're gonna be spicy. You are on the same lap. Ooh. Wow, was that really necessary? Coast has actually made a premature pit stop. Mm. They're in. There's a Biff in their car, but I'm not sure if that was there. I'm gonna look. Yeah, that was there, it seems. Not sure why they're stopping so early. Or maybe they did get the Biff somewhere earlier this lap. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it came down quicker on the last lap or two than it did before. So I think they maybe picked that up somewhere. And yeah, just... they're out, so they're not repairing. It's just a short stint. Okay. I think he might have gotten that. Maybe it's tired. just to not have to deal with me, to be honest. That could be. That's pretty clever. Because you might be a dick. I am a dick. Yeah. I know. I'm also a pair of legs and arms and a head and stuff, a torso, but you know. One of the things that is me is a dick. I suppose, yeah. I'm gonna have my, uh, my piss and stuff and I'll be back shortly. Yeah. Did you put your seat somewhere else? <laughs>
Hello, mister. Hello. My clutch pedal seems to be fucking up, but it's of no issue now. No, it shouldn't be too big of one. Yes, not. Yeah, fine, whatever. <laughs> steady going so far it's going uh, perfect really yeah it's going really well yeah that's I'm, ha said. I'm happy with these stents should be let's uh, keep that up I thought he was boxing. I let go of the slipstream. Damn it. Oh well. That's a tenth I'll never get back. CCTS is still in the pits on lap 89. So we're two laps down now. But they've been in for a long time. Car still pretty biffed. There's no one in the car. Let's see if anyone is actually present. They have to be if the cars are in the grid. Oh yeah, there's three guys still connected. So we're looking to come back out. I'm assuming. What's my uh, gap to the East Coast car? Last time coming through was uh, 36 seconds. Um, pit stop with tires and fuel is going to be a minute. So we might even, at the current pace, we will even come out ahead. Yeah, last lap was a 9.15 on their end. We did it at 8.42. So at that pace, we'll be uh, just ahead. It's not gonna matter too much. I'm, I reckon our pace is gonna be better. It's not really an issue.
two laps to CCTS. So I'm just going to put you right behind them as I get out of the car. Literally on the pit. I think so, yeah. Sweet. That's a good way to try to pop the engine though. On one downshift. Oh, there was someone in the grass there. Oh, yeah, the GT3 that passed me before. Yeah, I didn't even see him. Did you get a yellow flag for that? I didn't. No, I don't think so. He was pretty close to me, so maybe they didn't even have time to bring it out. All the Martians were asleep. Yeah, or drunk. Or drunk, or both. Oh, that's a bit of sleepiness coming in as well. He completely missed his turn. Do these guys even drink scary amounts of coffee before their stints? I hope so. <laughs> so. It helps. It really helps. I'm feeling fine for now. Let's see if that lasts. You still have time to smash another cup of coffee if you're quick. No, I have to make a new pot. That's gonna take a, time, a while. I won't have time to drink it then, so I'm fine. Yeah. You still have time to do another nerve piss as well? I just had my nerve piss. So I'm good, thank you. CCT is still in the pits, though they have put a driver in. East Coast a minute and 46 back. Yeah, they're just being slow. I think they might have uh, had a spin last lap. Was it 10 minute 20? CCTS is swapping drivers in the car. What's that about? That car is not repairing itself very nicely. We're going to be one lap down by the time you cross the start finish line, so the chase is very much on. in class are still on the same lap. How's Kabord? How is Kabord? 
They're running. They running. Yeah, they'll be catching up to ref match in about half an hour. Pretty chuffed beating a uh, ref match. I think that was one of the goals. Yeah. I'm pretty t uh, chuffed beating David Pittet though. <laughs> you can put that one on your resume. Yeah. So one lap to box. Bit of a flash for CCTS, maybe. Hello. We're coming, boys. <laughs> they might see that, and they definitely know what that means. Yeah. Almost two minutes to East Coast. Yeah, they've dropped off the pace big time. Yeah, I mean. Oops. Last lap was at 38. That's very spicy. We're still not keeping up to P1 and 2 though. No. We're a few seconds quicker. Not much. But... They're running like uh, low 30s, some high 20s. And I think they still have all their quick repairs. So uh, third is uh, maximum achievement. CCTS still stationary. You might catch up uh, at the point of pit stop at this rate. Yeah. Although that being said, they still have about eight minutes to get on track. Mm -hmm. But even then, the car doesn't look like it's gonna go around quickly. It's really just about being safe by now. Yeah. Because we're the quickest of the cars that we're actually racing. You know, disregarding P1 and 2. It's really just going to be dragging it to the line. We really need to go about stamping that into the rest of us. Like, yeah. Whatever you do, just bring it across. That's all we need. Looking at the CCTS card, it doesn't look like it's going to keep up with any of us. Just judging by its state. You're gonna have to see for yourself, that car is not looking pretty. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm hoping it is a pretty sight though. With HTRG right. colored glasses. <laughs> Oh, I need to stop doing that extra downshift there. If I want to keep the engine going. Or I mean, I guess I'm not gonna have a have an extra chance to do it. <laughs> no. Wow, it feels weird that this is the last stint for me in yeah, a race with ten so hours to go. To go still. Yeah, <laughs> it's very weird. Yeah, don't get used to it though, because we won't get. Uh, have a lot of 24 hour races with a, a six man team. No. I'm not hoping to, at least. It does keep you fresh, but it also keeps you out of the game.
Yeah, I don't think Fresh is worth that much. I think three people that are comfortable doing triple stints when it makes sense yeah. is, is brilliant. Because yeah. that's still a six hour break for anyone of the drivers. Yeah, like three hours of sleep, three hours of crew chiefing, so you'll be on standby. Yeah. Like we do always, I think we always need someone on standby, even though you, we could aim at people running their own stint. Yeah. Then again, maybe in the future you don't even need that, because everyone's going to be pretty much dialed in that if anything happens, he knows what to do. Yeah. Like now we need, also need like, you know, it's a bit hard to make the decision on your own, but as time comes, I think we'll, we'll probably be able to manage. I also think that might be a bit easier when you know that you're alone, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Because you know your main objective is just getting the car to someone else. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's definitely something we're going to be aiming for in the in the future. And that will make it really easy with the three of you if you can just leave the driver be and then yeah. have a six hour break. That's that's more than enough. Exactly. I think this is a, has actually been more intense because, you know, I did feel like you have to be there for uh, the other ones. Yeah. Both with having another team with like maybe different ethics and then the new guys. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I feel like I've been sitting on needles as well a lot more than I normally do. Yeah. Trying to trying to be ready to help them as much as I could. Yeah, it, but that's the only right thing to do, really. Absolutely. So. CCTS still stationary. It's gonna be a massive wow for for some people to see the car actually run in third. Yeah. I don't jinx it though. Well, I just did. Too late. Yeah, hey, oh, you they're did. Running. They're running. They're running. Oh, you fucking prick! You fuck! I Wait totally a jinx it. That. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I'm far enough out that it's it's very much depends on their pace. Yeah, they're half a lap out. Damn it. That's uh, my cue to get some leg work in then. Yes, lad. Finish what I could not. What are our apexes? Fuck them. I'm gonna turn my game volume up just a bit. Did you just not want the slipstream? I don't know. Box this lap, baby. Taking tires. Yeah. Taking fuel. Boxy, boxy, boxy. That's probably fine. <laughs> it actually was fine. Good stints, good stints. Perfect job on that one. Yeah, thanks. I'm pretty happy with those stints.
Those stints that no one will get to see. Good luck, buddy. Yep, thank you. Safe vibes. East Coast is in Kleiner Carousel. Steering is a bit on the wonk. It's on the wonk? It's a bit off center on my end. It wasn't on mine. It's, it's only a little bit, like a very tiny bit, like two degrees or something. Let's keep an eye out for CCTS's laps. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Um... Ooh. Sketchy rear end. Hello. Yeah, it looks a lot better when I'm driving it. What looks better when you're driving it? The car. Oh, yeah. It's a lot more damage when you're in it. Good job, though. I'm not gonna worry too much about Lepster because the car does seem to be a bit sketchy. Yeah. That's fucking annoying. It was so good in my hand, like when I had it. Yeah, it could be just me. Just give me some time. No, to no, the, into it. no. I told you the car is more broken. The car is like a lot more broken.
feels fine. Feels absolutely fine now. It's probably just being heavy and on cool tires. I think uh It is a bit dented, so it's totally fine. If it feels off face, don't get stressed by it at all. No. you you seem to be catching the CCTS car. I'll keep you updated once I have lap times. Really, just taking like triple the margin I would usually do. Just keep running. Yeah. I'm not uh, stressed out in any way, really. No, you're definitely catching. So just take it easy. Yeah, let's yeah. just let be enough. cruise it for two hours and see where we at. Yeah. We have one GT3, eight seconds out. Do that back. Yep. CCTS is in the pits again. That's uh, good. I'm going to slow it down even more then. Yeah, I can't see what happened, but he had a bit. Yeah, no, Quite nothing it. more I need to know, really. No, that's true. That's all we need. It would be useful to know 
where they're at in the uh, laps to come. We'll be passing him for position this time. Yep. I'll just uh, resume cruising altitude. Yeah. So there's four other TCRs ahead of us. Last one is just coming out of the pit now. They're still like very close to each other for position. They can see That's each other. Spiced. Yeah. Well done. They can see each other and P3 is on the start finish straight. Just as they get out of T2. fine with putting up some copyright free music <laughs> especially now that i'm looking at disco man you could actually look into that that would be totally fine <laughs> i don't think it i can actually be soothing don't think i can figure out how to play it uh, with this in good quality Frame rate's taking a bit of a hit on the new shader. Really? So, um, yeah, I might want to turn that back down for the next race. I'm not going to turn it back down during the pit stop. It's fine now, but it seems to get a bit of a jank every now and then. I haven't had that before. Hmm.
that beatbox was actually pretty good. Might I add? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How is uh, CCTS looking? Stationary. Hmm. And what about East Coast? Slow. Okay. Um, high eights now, fifty nines and fifty eights. Oh, I'm slow, <laughs> but that's fine. Ne bother, lad. Ne bother. Yeah, again, I'm just keeping the largest of margins I've ever done, so... If we're still the fastest of anyone uh, behind us, why why even bother? Why take the risk? Yeah. Water temp and oil temp seem fine. Yeah. So I don't think the engine uh, is struggling at the moment. No, only a bit for horsepower. But there might be drag yeah. actually. There might be drag. So I guess you're not gonna take P3 until next lap. Couple of GT3s, first one about five and a half seconds out. Yeah, I see him. I also have complete trust that you do, but it's just to give you something to yeah, react yeah. to. <laughs> Thanks. Just this much.
Are they battling or are they on their own? One second. They're, uh, they're on their own. Not on the same map. That's good info. Yeah, and I, I think the first one's pulling away a bit as well. But right now that's our. Nice one. Not a bad call with two cars. They're both flashing like, what a fucking Chad move. <laughs> Alpha Chad traffic handling. That's me, baby. <laughs> so you have the leading Porsche, 12 seconds out. He's been catching quickly. that I could be doing but uh it's it's no bother yeah exactly CCT is still stationary yeah then uh a Sunday drive should get us up there I think they might actually get rolling soon. They have a driver in, and he's moving the wheel. We're on the same lap now, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure you might actually be ahead now by a lap, but because he's parked beyond the start finish. I think we should finish. be ahead by a lap because he's parked yeah. in front of the start finish. Exactly, line. exactly, yeah. So, so it yeah. should be a lap when you cross here. I forgot. It's not a lap. According to this. Okay. We're so still in. Yeah, that's the podium, baby. Let's keep the dream alive. Yeah. Still gaining 10 seconds a lap on East Coast. Yeah, 
I feel very slow, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, but you're currently gaining like 8 minutes 50 per lap on CCTS. Yeah, that's cool. That's good numbers. Side. You probably know that. Leading Porsche five seconds out. First GT3, 13 seconds out. I'll be back in a few minutes.
CCTS might have given up. I've seen some disconnecting and reconnecting happening. Yeah, I see Simon from the CCTS team manually disconnecting. Oh, but now he's connecting again. Yeah, there's still activity, yeah. so I don't think they're out of it. The board is still running too. Yeah, and East Coast should be running. Yeah, East Coast is running. Actually, East Coast is in the pit. <laughs> but that's looking like a regular driver swap. Two minutes from one TCR car for position. Let's fucking get it. The frame rate drops have something to do with uh, headlights, it seems. Once there's headlights coming into uh, the freight, it gets a bit janky. So oh. it's definitely the new setting. Um, uh, yeah. I'll have to turn that back down. Yeah, it must be. It's not like, not like major, uh, so I'm not going to do it during the pit stop. But uh, just trying to reach a uh, trace where it came from. Also running quite a another few settings on like high and ultra, so I might want to turn some of those down instead. Because it does actually get quite disorienting to get the, the frame rate jank, jankiness. Yeah. <coughs> Not a single apex mi missed though, so I think we're yeah. good. I mean, you should be able to change it in the pit stops if you want. No, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, Simon's back in the CCTS car. Yeah, they'll get it. Uh, they'll get it running. Question is what their pace is going to be like and how long they'll keep it running. Yeah. But that's the same for us, really. Just how long are we going to keep it running? Yeah. East Coast is running again. They're a lap down now. Whoop. Oh, big moment. Hmm? Oh, it's just Kyle driving for East Coast has is having a big off. Oh. Nothing happened. A little sketchy. 
And Disco Man is coming up to him. Disco Man? Yeah. It's the only car that has uh, lighting, UV lighting. I think the, the Ferrari. Yeah, I think the Ferrari is the only GT3 that has it. And most people have it off. We're gonna have three regular lap CCRs on this lap. Okay. One's ten seconds out. Ten seconds out. The furthest one is twenty-five. Picking up that X. That chicane Apex X. I just found out my headset wire is actually long enough for me to lie down on the bed. Well, you go and do that. Assuming the pit stop has been set up, uh, you don't need to come out for quite a while. No, I'm gonna try to stay here until someone joins you. Yeah, I'm expecting Jordan any minute, really. What time is it? Uh, 20 past 6. Yeah, he should be here in like half an hour. Yeah, but it's cool now that my legs are rested. Yeah, even to. if you uh, doze off, it should be fine. Don't I'll worry. Be, I'll be out to fix the pit stop in a moment.
Nice one. Good sequence of cash. Aye. One more, 11 seconds out. Yes, and that's one lap to box. Yep.
How is uh, CCTS doing? Do we know? Sorry, I was just out for a moment. I don't see uh, CCTS anywhere. Not anywhere? No. I'm not in the pits anymore. I'll have another look. Maybe they were on the dark side of the track. I still don't see them. I see Simon manually disconnected. Rip. Rip. Rip indeed. Do you have a minute and five until the next TCR for position? Yeah, we're gonna be boxing anyway. 
If uh, the gaps are that large, I'm gonna look into changing the options for the frame rate. Because even if I don't make it, it should be fine. Yeah, I'm here. It's be, uh, yeah. He's close to running, but it looks like a two lap down. Oh, the other teams really have cracked in the night. Yeah, they really have, and we picked up pace. Box this a lot. Boxy, 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 box, 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 box. Yeah, I'm running 72 FPS. That's not pretty. That's not what you're looking at. So what you, what you, what you want? Not 72 of this. Though. Easy pickings, easy pickings. What's up, Keith? You good, buddy? Okay. Keith, Options. My guy. Graphics. PCF four done. Race. We're good. Should be uh, back up to speed now. I didn't see any difference, so then it's definitely not worth taking the FPS hit. Yeah, I felt like it got rid of the blurry thing quicker, but otherwise it was the same. Let's keep churning. Baby, are you McDonald's? Because I'm loving it. <laughs> it's 
running so smooth now. I feel great. This is good. This is good. Yeah, changing that setting was a wrong call to make. Let's not do that again mid-race. Yeah. a lot better way with the settings I have. But I'm running lower detail settings than a lot of things. Yeah, that might be it. I don't, uh, I don't see any difference. But that could be my lack of uh, observing. Yeah, it's just because you are a plug. I think Revmatch and especially uh, CCTS might have been feeling a bit of pressure. Yeah. Maybe. Either that or fatigue or both. Yeah. I mean, we've been complaining about the fact that there are six of us, but we've been fresh all the way through the night. Yeah, that's true.
The sky is really starting to ever so slightly light up now. Uh, that's really good news. I think the timing's perfect. Yeah. I'd love to see uh, Jordan rolling in any second now. Yeah. Uh, it's getting around that time now. I'm probably fine staying in the car, but it's more the schedule thing. Yeah. Fortunately, you want to be drivers that could be. Though, if anything, uh, this would be the best one to oversleep because he's a bit further up with the hours, and I'm a bit down. Yeah, so exactly. it should, even then, it should be okay. Yeah, yeah it's the best. It's the best thing that could happen. Like, that yeah, it it's be. the best worst scenario. Yeah, exactly. seeing the light come back in. Mm. Oh, look. 
Hello, did you stole me? Oh, hello. I didn't want me to. Yeah, that's early. Why are you up? <coughs> I can actually not see the chat, so you're gonna have to take care of that. Yeah, Martin's uh, just done his first stint. We're putting on a pretty strong recovery here. I did two stints, and he's on his second. Uh, we came from P6 to P3 in that time. Just soldiering through the night, really. Yeah, while everyone else crumbles in the dark. Like little frightened cookies. <laughs> the sun rising in the game. It's a bit of an early morning storm. I've actually adjourned to bed, but I'm still within reach. If you need someone to keep Martin company. Jordan should be showing up shortly. Storm, I mean, this might help you uh, catch an extra hour or two to just sewn up. I think it might help me as well. Oh, yeah, okay. Sometimes you pay for pressure money by working out way too early. That's not sometimes. Left though, I can't reach. Five. I'm checking every lap. I'm. Uh, I'm fine. Even if you shoot those off any second, I'll. Uh, I'll be good. So don't worry. Yeah, I find a very comfortable position, so it might help. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. <laughs> I might just go up and put a mirror in the driving spot. It's never wrong.
That cloud of smoke is still there. Schumacher is. Yeah, it's really weird. Never forget cloud of smoke 2019. Shit's gone. I didn't get around to reading your message until it's now. Action packed times, my man. What's happening? I just had his electricity out for days. No. Oh. Because there's a leak near the like high power cables in his kitchen. Which oh. is According to my professional opinion, not what you want. Uh, yeah, I think I might agree on that. One more, we're going over here now. Are you at like a PC position? Yeah. You want me to so... do something? If you could set the pit stop, it should be set basically automatically, but if it comes to show that yeah. Jordan isn't showing up and you doze off, worst case scenario that I'm still just fine. Yep. I'll set it up. Cool. Thanks. Probably won't be necessary, but uh, preparing for the worst. No, it'll take me a second to do it. Oh, no Storm, but that's annoying, mate. Hope that gets solved for you quickly. <laughs> wow, sorry about that. No, Take sleep. it easy. Don't no. die on me. Yeah, my sleeping buddy wasn't ready for that. <laughs> my sleeping buddy that's been setting up the most beautiful driving weapon. Um, 
But yeah, Storm is having a bad time with, with his uh, electricity. F's out, buddy. Yeah, he's talking about having to rip out the shower and yeah. Sounds rough. Yeah. It sounds like you know what you're talking about, at least, Storm. I guess that makes it ever so slightly more handleable. That's not a word. It's late. But uh, yeah, hope you get that solved as soon as possible, mate. And hopefully as cheap as possible. Hey. Good morning. It's Jordan. What's up, Jordan? I'm tired. Maybe we can do the math on the steam. Because I'm, I'm perfectly capable of doing another one. So if that would fit in the schedule and if Jordan is alright with that, you could do a single one. I think I should turn you up in my Discord. I cannot hear you over the engine. It should be it should be fine if you run another stem. Yeah, so it's an option. Yeah. Yeah, that's good to know. So it's uh, it's up to you, Jordan. Uh, why do you need me to turn up? I still cannot hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I, I'm struggling a bit as well. To be honest. So it's it's set to change tires. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but your tire where after your last stop was everything was ninety three or better. Yeah, then I if I stay in the car, we could keep them on. Yeah, I think we could. How are you feeling about that, Jordan? Do you wanna? Are you? Down for getting in the car already? Uh, yeah, I'm just getting um, my gloves and stuff on. Okay. Oh yeah, but there's still four laps to go. So even on the one stint he's doing now. Uh, what happened when I was gone? We put in some monster stints for third. I feel like he's passing you right there all the time. Yeah. But yeah, we're third in class, 25th overall. Yeah, we've had a good night. We've had a good night of racing. Uh, how's the car? Uh, slightly biffed, but it's totally manageable. Anything, there's like, it's not a priority safety, it's just the only thing we're aiming for because both ref match and, um, what's the Belgian one called again? CCTS. CCTS. Yeah, they've both cracked during the night when we were just soldiering on, so they've crashed, both of them. Far right, behind. Like they've crashed out. Far behind. The East Coast is two laps down. Yeah, East Coast is two laps down. So the only thing we need is to get the car in. We yeah. don't need any form of speed whatsoever. We just need to bring it in, and then the podium should be in the bag. 
go. Like, you can run nine minutes for all I care. We just need to bring the car in. Well, that is good. So, yeah, just uh, take it easy, have fun, and uh, don't biff it. <laughs> um, okay. And the sun's coming up. Yeah. We're looking at some daylight by the time I get out. Oh, perfect. This is so much better in the daytime. Yeah, we really... We were happy about that too, that we did the last of the night. That's pretty perfect. How did the uh, He had a troublesome start, but he got it sorted. He really persevered. Had two good stints in the end. That's good. Yeah. I think the first one as well. Yeah. Yeah, you both had two biffs, two big ones, and then you sort of sold yourself out. So let's keep that momentum up. Yeah. And now it's just about surviving. If we can just survive, we'll be good. You're very close to taking a few positions here as well, Martin. The TCRs are coming up soon. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning and my room is freezing. Oh man, Storm, just got back to the chat. Yep, you're really hacking the way through it. Clever. Clever stuff, man. Yeah, you're yeah, very true about that last part. That's what we're trying to do. But it's a lot easier said than done.
Okay. What the fuck? This fucking guy. This fucking guy. I'm holding off, I don't want any more of this fucking traffic. That could have been a, a race decider right there. Yeah, it could have. Really well done, mate. We started off this race with four quick repair storm, which we normally don't have in the endurance races, but we <laughs> we spent them all pretty quickly. <laughs> so we've been back to regular hours in for a while. It's actually a pretty good way to do it if you want to have some consequences in uh, GT. I like that idea. It's in real daylight now. Yep. Yeah, that's true. I remember that storm. I remember it being used to go in there. That was a good function for me.
It's a good one, still. Oh my god, the cool chief and I raising. But it's a good solution. I like how the G makes you work. And the platform is limited. But you always tend to find some to you in general. So two more laps after this one, I reckon. Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm here waiting anywhere. where Jonas is but that's uh, that's fine it's gonna be two more laps until I'm in okay I'll uh, warm myself up yeah just uh, let me know if you don't if you're not feeling it that would be fine then we can just swap uh, the stint over but I guess you you'll be good yeah I'll be good
pretty cool as it crashed. A lot of people will actually be a bit put off by the sun rising. I'm noticing it myself, it's, it's putting me off a little bit.
One more lap, Jordan. Okay. Cool. You feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling uh, fine. Okay. I'll be uh, with you for the entirety of the two hours, so uh, we'll be managing. We'll do fine. Just, uh, again, nothing but safety. I've turned my lap times off just to keep myself from pushing. Yeah. Just keeping it ultra super safe. I really look at myself. Okay, yeah, that's good. The next car behind is two laps down. So it's just about bringing it home. Nothing else. So I've kind of moved all my brake markers like 10 to 20 meters earlier. It's going to reset Jonas as the crew chief because we're gonna need someone doing the crew chiefing. He's in the slot. <laughs> I think we've come to a point where he's asleep. In the worst case, that's just going to fuel us up with 100 liters and new tires so it's not the worst thing but uh, preferably I have them out can't we kick him out? I'm not sure, I don't think so we could request maybe the organizers to uh, kick him out of the session that would be an option We'll look into it later. That's uh, going to be my business. Okay, we'll need tires and fuel anyway from last time, so... Yeah, it's set up fine for now. So we have an hour to fix it. That is going to fuck up the stream, though. Let's prioritize the race. flag you're clear oh no I'm not <laughs> yeah I was coming in there slowly that was uh, that was fine no hassle
sun has pretty much risen at this point, so that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. Boxu, 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 boxu. Box, box, box. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so yeah. Break early, ease it in, stay within your margins, and we'll be golden. But I think you, uh, you know that. You know what to do. Yeah. I'm out. She's all yours, baby. Okay. Let's get it. Sending the safest of vibes your way. You'll do fine. You'll be fine.
I'm pretty confident with traffic, so. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm glad to hear. Take it easy on the uh, first few laps because it is a slight bit biffed, but it's mainly on the power. Mainly, ever so slightly on the suspension, but uh, it's nothing too major. First car behind is two laps down, so we should be able to manage just fine. Yellows out. It's Kabor. Take it easy, take it easy. Okay, he's rolling. You're good. GD3 coming up. That's fine. Yeah, Kabord was parked in the middle of the track there, right through the S's. But uh, they got going before we arrived. Well, at least they didn't sound right. <laughs>
Looking very steady, mate. That's perfect. We've got a cupboard coming up. They might be sketchy, so take caution. Copy. them yeah good traffic for a bit now I'm gonna take a quick toilet break and I'll be back okay Back. We've massively gained on the Porsche in P4, so uh, almost four laps in front. Keep doing what you're doing, this Greg.
Mercedes is liking how, how polite you are. <laughs> yeah, I have that effect on people. <laughs> That's good. That's good.
Yeah, Storm, I'm gonna have to agree on that one. It's uh, very therapeutic even, especially in uh, in the roll bar, or what is it, gyro, gyro view at these stages. Jordan is uh, holding it up really well. So, uh, yeah, it's not really much more to add to it. It's, uh, it's looking perfect so far. coming up. Audi on the inside, exiting the pits. Yep, you're good. Sorry, I'm calling my yeah, that's good. Just uh, making sure.
Storm Trials and I were actually having uh, that very exact conversation that uh, we think the guys in front are just so good at running at like 90 to 95 percent and then just keep putting in lap after lap after lap after lap because the ring is really not a trait like endurance racing in general is not where you go like to the limit all the time um you know there's that very special one or two percent that can actually uh, manage that sometimes but in general it's just about keeping it going keeping it going and especially at a track like like the Nürburgring where the margin for mistakes is just so tiny so so tiny that um, we've seen it ourselves in our own entry that the slightest of mistakes can uh, escalate in the matter of a second uh, it's just a matter of hitting a curb or a bump at just the wrong angle and then uh, we managed to flip it <laughs> to flip the Porsche so we got uh, kind of got saved by um, by the quick repairs the four quick repairs that we've had but everyone uh, behind us seems to have ran out on their uh, quick repairs as well and so have we and I think that um, both the cars in front are uh, actually still running all of their fast repairs because they don't seem to have had any form of mishaps. And then again, we've been um, we're racing quite a few uh, like bigger names, bigger I ratings as well. Like most of them are up to sev uh, seven thousand even, and I think the guys in front are like four thousand each. And for reference, uh, I think my profile is currently the highest rated in our team. And I'm only like 28, and Kurt is like 12, and I think we're averaging out on uh, 2,000 and a bit. So that uh, kind of puts things in perspective, maybe. So uh, yeah, we're really chuffed with, uh, with how we're running, so let's try and uh, take it to the line. It's uh, still seven and a hours remaining seven and a half but uh looking at how it's going right now i think we uh, we could manage but we're definitely not there yet we're not there yet So Jordan, we have put another lap into the Porsche that's behind, so uh, it's looking good. That's good. Yeah, our lap times are uh, more than what we need right now, so feel free to uh, take it down a notch if you want to. Then again, I would understand if that would uh, put you off, so... Uh, but no, there's uh, room for that. Yeah, I'll probably just fill it out, see what the car's doing. Yeah. Yeah, keep at it. It's uh, three more laps after this one. It's looking great. How are we doing? What's the second place like? Uh, he's out of reach. They've been uh, running without incidents since the start. So, uh... I think P3 is uh, the best that we could have done since the start, so let's try and uh, reel this in. Sure. Cool, cool. I'll be uh, moving you about when I'm talking to chat, so uh, just so you know. Okay.
Let's go in great storm. We're uh, we're really happy with uh, what it looks like. Nine minutes an hour. I oh, mean nine laps, laps an hour. Here yeah, we're doing. Um, Jordan is currently running high 40s, so uh, 8 minutes 48 seconds. Oh, hey Rory, good morning to you. Or, uh, you're joining in at a good time. We've had a, uh, a really good night. We've had a great night, uh, night of running. We've um, been putting some pressure on the other teams as well. And uh, both CCTS and RevMatch seem to have uh, snapped during the night where we've been uh, picking up the pace and really just hammering it down, soldiering, uh, soldiering on. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a special moment, sunrise, especially uh, at the Nürburgring. Jordan is putting in some uh, very solid laps, which is all we need right now. There's no more quick repairs, and we do have some slight biffs in the car, but um, it's very manageable, and all we need right now is to just come in. We have uh, consolidated a very, very nice gap, both in front and behind, so um, we're really just minding our own business uh, at this time, but then again, uh, just moving over the ring safely is uh, quite a challenge in itself so we're definitely not there yet but we're up into the podium spots and uh, we're hoping to keep that up no forest we're not pushing <laughs> we're not pushing anything we're doing anything but pushing though uh, jordan is putting in quite some spicy laps um, but yeah slowing down can be really off-putting in itself so uh, we have seen it before that when people are actually slowing down, taking it safe, that uh, they will start making mistakes. So Jordan, Jordan just needs to do whatever feels comfortable to him. And then uh, I think we'll manage. I have good hopes. I have good hopes. So uh, yeah, thanks for checking in, Rory. Uh, maybe see you later today. It's ending at about, uh, if I'm not completely mistaken, 15.30 GMT plus one, so uh, yeah, maybe check back in, see how we did, I'm, uh, I'm hoping we'll be running by then. Oh yeah, Storm, we have actually, we've, um, we've overtaken them when at the end, the very end of uh, Jonas' stint, so in the two hours of my stint and now the first half an hour of Jordan's stint. We've put four laps into them, so uh, yeah, we've really been uh, been keeping that pace advantage going for quite a while. They seem to have a few quick drivers, uh, who, if on their best laps are matching our pace, but they also have a couple of guys that are 10 to sometimes even 20 seconds a lap slower. So uh, we're really just our own enemy here, uh, keeping the car alive. Pace should not be a problem. Yeah, hopefully so, Rory. We'd be uh, we'd be looking forward to to, uh, to racing the Aries team. So uh, hopefully we'll see you by then. I'm gonna check back in with uh, with Jordan. I'm moving in about. It's a really nice uh, Sunday stroll you're on. It's good to see. Yep, trying. Um, can we find out if we can get uh, Jonas out of the crew chief seat uh, without him getting kicked? No, I cannot get him out, but uh, I've done uh, the math and even if he stays in, 
for the entirety of the race, it's gonna cost us two minutes. Two minutes and a bit. Uh, so then we'll keep changing uh, the tires. And uh, that's the worst case. And we can bleed two minutes easily. We're not chasing anyone, because the next car up ahead is seven laps out. And the car in behind is now four laps out. We're still gaining. You're currently gaining, I'll check. You're gaining over 20 seconds a lap. So I think we can bleed that time. Okay, it's just that I found the sweet spot on the tires. <laughs> but oh, you can you can switch the tires yourself, or? Uh, let me have a look. I don't think you can, but maybe you can. Oh, you can. Okay, let's do it next lap, next lap on the straight. Oh, hey, random. Good morning to you. What's up? How are you doing? Yeah, if you could uh, change the tires yourself, that basically fixes the uh, the entire problem. You want to do less fuel as well? No, I'll keep it at 100. That's fine. Odds are that the crew chief is gonna change it anyway. Now nah, switch it off. Okay. Yeah, you can look into it on the dirting area, but uh, it's no biggie. You're being very consistent, mate. This is perfect. You're looking really comfortable. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Take it easy, mate. Yeah, it's all looks like, it's all looks like. Yeah, you're, you're good, you're good. Sweet ass. At 20 seconds, that is a lot, but uh, then again, the Nurburgring is a track that really requires confidence and uh, a little bit of a yeet. <laughs> And if the confidence is not there, you can, uh, you're really bleeding a lot of time. So, um, their car seems fine uh, ish because they have got drivers running at about our pace. So, uh, the, the speed is definitely in the car. There's just uh, two or three drivers in the team that do not seem capable at this moment of getting that speed out. So, uh, but that's perfectly fine by me, uh, 20 seconds a lap, that's a lot to gain, so we're running quite a bit of margin, uh, which is really comfortable.
East Coast in P4 is in for more repairs. Ouch. Nah, I don't mind. I don't mind. It gives us more breathing room, sir. Yeah. We had a lot of that already, but uh, I could do with more breathing room. Rightfully so, Storm. I, uh, I think that the number of cars having crashed out of this race, even with four quick repairs, goes to show how hard it actually is to, to keep it running on a track like this. Everything is just, just so much harder, especially the traffic as well, because uh, the track is really narrow and going off of your line is it's gonna drag you out to to the grass and that's just that's not a place you want to be and the curbs are absolute killers on this one as we see jordan perfectly demonstrating a uh, a pass through Okay, so black box controls ready. You have seen to have lowered the uh, KPA on the rear tires, both of them. They should be 145. They're 141. And uh, might be a thing to attend to. Uh, no, that's the way it's meant to be. Um, oh, is that how uh, it's meant to be? Yeah, because uh, otherwise it'd be blue on mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw you faffing around with it. That's uh, my bad then. You'd, uh, 
good paying attention on that. So, uh, disregard everything I said. Yeah, just but if it was blue, that means there'll be a change to tire pressures. Yeah, no, that's right. I forgot about that. So you're good. Two laps left in this uh, this stint. Hey, Christoph. Good morning. Good morning. We're uh, actually you might be seeing yourself. We're doing we're doing pretty well. We're up into the podium spots actually, so. Uh, we're trying to manage that uh, till the end. So you'll be happy to see that your uh, your team is doing really well. Merlin is supposed to be next in the car as well. So um, we're waiting for him to, to come around. And then uh, takes, Jordan, uh, takes Jordan's seat in uh, a bit over an hour. We've had a, a, a couple of crashes even, uh, we've had a bit of a rough time at the, yeah, let's say the evening stint, but we got, uh, we got saved by the four very generous quick work players we've been given uh, at the start of this race. They have now ran out, so, um, but we've ran out of them quite a while ago, and we've been going really well through the night, and, uh, we're keeping that momentum up. It's uh, seven hours and 20 minutes remaining. So, um, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Thanks for uh, for dropping in. So we've got six, a huge roster of six drivers. Um, normally that's not really a thing that we would do, but um, we got invited by Imperium to, to do this race with them and at the time of the invitation it was two drivers for Imperium and three, maybe two and a half for half the race gone, but um, our team has uh, expanded quite substantially since then and we brought five drivers to the game and then um, Imperium switched one of their drivers to be crew chief instead of a driver so now it's five half the race gone drivers and one Imperium driver uh, two of which are very new to a uh, German facing, that's both Jordan and Curtis, and they've been, um, well, they've, they've had a bit of a rough start, uh, both of them, to their stints, but they've both recovered really, really nicely, so that's very impressive. As you can see, Jordan is doing just fine, and we'll be having uh, Kurt around at the beginning of the, uh, the afternoon, so yeah, let's... Uh, Let's hope that they can keep their momentum up as well, and it's going to be a really good debut for both of them. Channel of yeas. I couldn't tell. Yeah, better safe than sorry. I didn't mean it like that, Storm. <laughs> it was more that we weren't quite certain uh, on the schedule whether uh, one of us would make it. You're assuming it's dirt as well. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, we weren't quite sure if everyone was going to make it, so uh, that's uh, that explains the two and a half. <laughs>
He's looking to send. One more. so much there yeah that's a really sketchy place for uh, for overtakes but uh, well managed there's uh, more and more cars showing uh, showing up fifth so I believe there's more people running out of their uh, quick repairs at this point get back in there <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Ay, ay, ay. Only the finest jokes. <laughs> Even in the early morning stints. So the East Coast boys are still connected to the session, um, but the car is still in the pits. They are five lap di laps down by now. They're looking to to get back out at some point, it seems, but uh, it's not looking spicy for them. It's not looking <laughs> spicy. Unlucky. So, yeah, let, let's keep ourselves the lucky ones. Or the skilled ones, I'm sorry. There's no oh, luck. Big words there, big words. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big words are for big boys. Oh, what's up, Ethan? Good morning. Oh, what is it, even where you're at? Is it morning? Is it afternoon? I don't know. <laughs> One more lap. One more lap in this thing. You're up quite early for a Sunday, Ethan. But uh, thanks for checking in. That were the, one of the first things coming to mind. I like that. <laughs> still an hour so uh, it should be fine
Yeah, temperature should be okay, Storm. I don't see how you could not combine those two, uh, two things, Ethan. <laughs> One doesn't exclude the other. And uh, yeah, I think so too, Storm. That might be, uh, that might be it. Sounds like a good night's sleep, so uh, good job on that one. <laughs> we don't always get those. And uh, how is Fez? It's a, it's a nice way to spend this Sunday morning. East Coast is back out again, but they're either five or six laps behind. I'm waiting for the relative to update. Okay. The real ticket to freedom, Ethan. <laughs> Sounds great, mate. Sounds really, uh, really fun.
Oh. Okay. Should be alright, nothing too major. It was a small tap. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Uh, I hit the grass and the out of curve. Yeah, I saw, I saw. Uh. Not, exactly yeah, it was. There's nothing showing up. It should be it should be fine, but it's up to you to uh, fill it in. Uh, box this lap, and if there's any optionals, uh, we're taking it. But there might not even be a thing. Pit stop is set up correctly, so you're good to come in. Wait. It is but a scratch, indeed. <laughs> Bit of take out, we'll buff it out. Yeah, we'll buff it out. <laughs> so, boxy, 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 boxy. Good stint, good stint. So you need anything? Want me to get you a drink? Or... No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. That's good. I'm hoping that uh, Merlin is showing up at some point, because I believe the time he's set to be in has already passed. But in the worst case, uh, I guess I'll jump in or someone else has showed up by then. So that's not a thing to worry about. It's looking really good. Very steady, stable lap times. It's... Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we need. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'll do another one. We'll yeah, an another one. Yes, please, sir. Issues for East Coast. They're in again. Wow. That's mad. Yeah, they're breaking. It's it's all falling apart. The last two stints both lasted for two laps. They're crumbling down as well. Is that with different drivers each time? Yep. Seem to be running quite all right until the point we caught up to him in the night, or almost caught up to him. That's uh, when shit started hitting the fan for them, at least. So 
So yeah, keep it up. Top job. still connected to the session so they're not looking to give up just yet. board is literally just dragging their car along the track nine and a half minute lap times each every time 15 laps down it takes its toll on people yeah it really does cheers storm we'll uh We'll hope to be seeing you. Have a, have a good one. Yeah, and for you as well, Ethan. We'll uh, we'll be catching you with open arms once you get back. So uh, we'll see you around. slippers for a bit I'll be right back okay. Slippery boy checking back in.
Good morning, Merlin. Good morning. Good morning. You had a, a good night's sleep? Good morning. Good morning. A very good morning, even. Uh, have you seen the stream or the lobby? Struggling with sound settings. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear oh, me? Yeah, I can hear you as well. Hello. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> so I'm just uh, thinking that I'm struggling with sound settings. And everything is okay. <laughs> yep. Um, looks like we're in the race still. We are very much in the race. We're up into P3. We've had a very good night. A very oh, good that's night. Good. Yeah. That's good. So, um, Jordan is still in the car. I'm moving in, him around in the, the radio. So that's what we're uh, going to be doing with you as well. Okay. Um, we've built quite a gap to the cars behind because uh, both RevMatch and CCTS have broken during the night. We caught up to them, and then they uh, overpushed, and both of them crashed out of the race. So they're out, and uh, East Coast has been struggling since uh, the night as well. So they are now six laps down on us. So all we need to do is bring the car in. Uh, the P1 and P2 are still running unscathed. They uh, haven't had any incidents, it seems. So we're really just trying to get the car home because we have no repairs left. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the focus basically. Just run the car as smooth as you can and get it home. Uh, Jordan is doing six laps still and then we're, uh, we're expecting you in the car. Okay. So um, I hope that sounds like a plan. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's great. That's great. Did you have some sleep as well, or have you been uh, here the whole night? I've uh, had, I think, one and a half hours of sleep, but uh, that's fine. I'm, uh, my stint is done. I shouldn't be racing anymore, so uh, I should be good. Good? Good? Well, surprisingly good. Yeah, I, I have to be honest, uh, I went to bed with the idea that I would wake up to a crashed car. Um, but we've been, like, Hesse has, he, he's had a biff, Hesse, uh, but he recovered quite nicely. And then both Jonas and I put in quite, uh, quite good stints. And Jonas is now on a really good stint as well. Uh, Biffless, biffless stints. So that's perfect, and that's all we need right now. We don't need any pace, we just need the car to, to be safe. So, um, yeah, we, we can run nine minute laps, that's no problem. We're not catching anyone, there's nobody threatening us from behind. We just need to bring the car home. Yeah, we could take more care uh, when being lapped, because traffic yeah. will still be there, right? Traffic has thinned out uh, quite substantially because there's a lot of cars that have crashed out by now. So uh, we're one out of four or five Porsches still running. And the GD3 field has thinned out quite substantially as well. So there's okay. less traffic to contend with. But yeah, you can take all the time you need. Yeah. Okay. Just cool, give cool. away one or, one or the other second. Yeah. Uh, one slight issue, it's not really an issue, but uh, Jonas has fallen asleep whilst in the crew chief uh, thing. So you're gonna have to set up your own pit stops. Okay. So, uh, but I think you'll be able to manage that. Yep. J just, uh, just a slight heads up. But, uh... Uh, Ooh, you mean that I will have to set up for, for my second stint as well? Yeah, so if you get in the car uh, and check the tires, and you can take 100 liters of fuel, that's fine. Yeah. So, uh, that's all we need. Well, it, I'll it, remind it, you, uh, try and uh, remind you. Yeah, it doesn't overfuel, right? Uh, 
anyway. No, no, no. So it will just uh, say at 100 yeah. liter, you just get uh, until it's full. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit more of weight, which doesn't make a sense. A difference, yeah. honestly. Yeah, take it easy on the first laps because the car has had a biff. It's slightly bent, but it's it's not by much. Just uh, try and take it easy anyway. I'm gonna put Jordan back in. Yeah, how, how many laps is Jordan going to do? Uh, six, including this one, so five and a half. Okay. We'll have sufficient time to get everything set up. Yeah, yeah. Good. We're uh, back with you, Jordan. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jordan. Hello. Touching your hair is the, the fiddle straight, <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Gives you plenty of time to uh, do your adjustments. East Coast is uh, still in the pits. Still connected though, but uh, they're on lap 103, so they're about eight laps down by now. Expect that. I'm such a calm person, you know? <laughs> yeah, but the top class runners won't be expecting any form of uh, calmness again, I think. And it's the manatee guys as well. They've been uh, causing quite a bit of ruckus. No need to cut across like that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Williams. That's a bit harsh. Oh well, he's through. Very unnecessary. Oh well. That was the guy who crashed in the beginning. Yeah, they've been uh, very aggressive in traffic all the way through. But that might be why they're in P1. I don't know, just uh, it's not our problem now.
Ini Definitely getting more sketchy on the rear now. Yeah, take it easy. It's it's looking a bit more sketchy than it was before. So uh, maybe take it down a notch. Yeah, it's just on the ex uh, corner exit. Yeah. The rear wants, wants to kick out on the uh, rear right. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm seeing that. is still pitted so no pressure from behind though they are still connected but there are seven laps down so you shouldn't be feeling any pressure
and P2 in class are separated by five seconds. Wow. After 18 hours of racing. Are they in masterclass? Oh yeah, they are in masterclass. Jesus. Yeah, we were never going to keep up with that. <laughs> Best of the rest, baby. Let's get it. With reg I just muted uh, Jordan uh, with regard to the sound settings. Um, we should be fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. Uh, be, if you just leave it on uh, what it is, we'll be uh, moving you around if you want to. So yeah. if. Uh, I think Jordan can hear us. Jordan? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So, uh, I think we'll keep you in here, and if it gets rowdy in the chat, we'll uh, move you out. And if you want something, uh, you just let us know, and we'll move you. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Mmm, my favorite number. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. 
bollocks. Uh oh. I'm onto the relative. How's the car? I think it's alright. I'm looking back at it. It's a minor change to the bodywork, but uh, just feel it out. It's gonna be uh, four laps, four laps. Okay. Seems okay. Yeah, I was trying to think where to plan for that next car to have a take, but I was in sort of high yeah. gear. Yeah, I saw upon entry that that was probably gonna end bad. It's not, it doesn't seem anything uh, major though, so uh, don't worry. It's still looking really good. Coast is still stationary. As long as we can keep moving. Yeah, exactly. Three laps left? Yeah. That is correct.
morning. Good morning, we're still alive. We are very much alive, I'm happy to announce. And uh, we're running really well, we're in uh, podium spots. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, we've had, um, we've had a really solid night and a solid morning as well. We've been running uh, basically without error. Um, I think Hesse had a bit of a biff at the start of his stint, so that's about 2 in the morning. And ever since, we've been absolutely hammering it down. So uh, I'm just going to move Jordan out for a bit. Um, see you in a bit. Hi. Yeah, so um, we've been hammering it, and uh, both uh, CCTS and uh, RevMatch seem to have broken under the pressure during the night because we were uh, really picking up the pace where the others were kind of uh, leaving off during the night, and uh, by the time we were uh, basically catching them, uh, both of them crashed out. Um, and R4R had fucked up by themselves, and uh, we just kept it going, and ever since we've caught up to East Coast, they've been uh, struggling, like, hard as well, so they're now seven laps down. Um, so we're out of quick repairs, but we're still running, and we're running quite solid. So all we're doing right now is uh, keeping the car alive and uh, bringing it in. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was up watching, or I was in the in the chat watching until about three. Ah. So, anyways, just getting up. So I wanted to quickly dial in and see if uh, how we're doing on schedule. Yeah, we're uh, a bit in front of schedule, not by much, but uh, your stints should still be uh, roughly around where they should be. So I'm showing I start driving again, I think around 12. Uh, let me have a double check on that. Yeah, you'll be in after uh, Merlin comes out. Merlin's coming in in about 50 minutes. So, 15 minutes plus 2 hours, um, yeah, a bit before 12. Perfect. That should Perfect. be it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, I'll be ready for it. I'll keep on checking back in and uh, keep the rubber side down. Uh, see you guys here shortly. Yeah, cool. Cool. Thanks, guys. Good work. You. Cheers. So Jim is telling me to hammer it down and we might catch P2. Uh, I'd advise against that. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> he's, okay. uh... Oh, you're not gonna. No. <laughs> he's eight laps out. <laughs> we can catch him. Yeah. <laughs> In your dreams, Jim. In your fucking dream. Yeah, fuck you, Jim. Freak. Uh, yeah, Clumpy Rev Match is, uh, is out of it. They um, stranded somewhere in the night. Uh, they are. Well, you can do the math. They're now 54 laps behind times 8 minutes. That's uh, when they pulled out. So that's somewhere. Uh, during the night. 
Hey Crazy, good morning. We're, uh, yeah, we're looking really good up into uh, podium spots, so that's uh, that's spicy. Spicy McSpice. Oh, P2 is crashed. Not like big time, but they've biffed. My assumption of them not having used any quick repairs might have been wrong. Unless they're towing. I guess time will tell once they come out. They don't seem to be towing. Yeah, crazy. We're uh, we're pretty chuffed as well, but uh, we're not there yet. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Everyone's doing a stellar job of keeping it alive, though. So it's it's looking good. Gonna be uh, two more laps, Jordan. Okay. East Coast is reporting in the, uh, the Discord that they've crashed out and they are in the pits for more than 30 minutes of repairs. Oh, I'll make the most of this then. Uh, well, there's no need. They're nine laps behind. So don't push it. Don't push it. Absolutely don't push it. There's no need.
lot of times are really good and spicy already, so I'd rather see you uh, slow it down than speed it up, to be honest. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable with this pace. Yeah, then just keep it up. It's, uh... Absolutely fine. Yeah, crazy, it's uh, right around coffee time by now. Half past nine, up to ten o'clock. That's uh, about the perfect time for coffee, so uh, I should probably be stepping out in a bit and uh, get myself some, because uh, to be fair, I haven't had a lot of sleep. Uh, I'm feeling fine, but coffee is always a good suggestion, so uh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Seems to be very quiet out on the track. traffic yeah though all gd3s are except for two are still running maybe their pace has dropped off so that's why i'm not seeing them much yeah Half of the Porsches have crashed out, only two GD3s, and I think only two Audis as well. So that kind of shows uh, the difficulty of the Porsche. Crazy, we're uh, very much enjoying the calmness of it all. We've uh, had some stints that were more hectic. That's not really a thing you need in uh, between for our Nurburgring race. There you go. 
goes. So one more lap, one more laps, uh, lap to box. Uh, Merlin, are you ready? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Five by five, loud and clear. So uh, one more lap for Jordan, and then uh, we'll have you in the car. Drop it up. If there's repairs needed for that little thing I did earlier, then we'll just do it. Yeah, take him. 100% take him. Sending. Aggressive Manatee Mercedes up next, so we might want to take a bit of extra caution. Caution is my middle name. Ah, I thought as much. I don't discriminate against GT3 drivers. <laughs> Weirdly enough, Martin Escher seems to have used all his quick repairs as well. Oh wow. So that might even get interesting because if anything big happens in the six hours to come, uh, it's still a place to pick up. I mean, they're very fast though. He's like, I watched who's doing like 27 earlier. Yeah, they are on uh, 20s, mid 20s race pace. So we're gonna need a miracle. I'm definitely not saying that I think it's gonna happen, but there is a very slight chance that it might. But uh, don't think about it. 
I'm just uh, observing. And those guys still racing, right? Yeah, they're still racing, but uh, they are racing in a, a car with some sort of damage, so that would mean that if they crash out now, I'm assuming they don't have any fast repairs, but I'm not sure. Maybe they're keeping one in the, in the bag for if something major happens. So let's not assume uh, anything or think about picking up places. We're really, really just looking into uh, bringing P3 home. Uh, absolutely. But if we can get the win, it'd be great. Well, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but, but we're not gonna make eight laps uh, due to race pace? Uh, I don't think so, no. Yeah, it might pull it out of the bag. You never know. You never know in endurance racing. Starts doing 30s. <laughs> Starts doing three minutes flat. Ache as bad as last time, though. Hmm? Ache as bad as last time. Someone in the Discord is claiming that it's the slower car's responsibility to make a safe pass for the quicker car. That makes no sense. Says no one in real life motorsport. Yeah. That's just plain stupid. Get your head out of your ass, mate. Like, if you, uh, if a pro driver hits a am driver, they get it, fined. Yeah. So someone needs to go and tell him that. But it would explain one or the other behavior. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say that. It would explain a lot. Uh, Jonas is not here right now, crazy. He's, uh, he's in bed, but uh, please tell us how you do a lap of the Norch life in 1 minute 40. Is that in a plane? Yeah. I, I know how to do it. Make a right turn on T13. Yeah. <laughs> well, then it's not the Norch life, is it? <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> So we're boxing this lap, boxing this lap. Boxy, 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 boxy. Spike. 
spicy entry. There you go. So uh, try and set your pit stop, Merlin, because we cannot do uh, anything for you from here. And, uh, cool. So uh, keep it smooth, keep it steady, and uh, have fun. It's funny you mentioned that crazy because uh, that's uh, that's exactly what we did during the race when we had the the meatball glitch. We came in, did a fast repair, and then it did repair the car, but it didn't actually subtract the fast repair. And um, the meatball stayed, so we thought to be clever and cut the track short to come in again. And it did indeed count the lap, but uh, we did get the 14 minute penalty. And yeah, Jonas isn't here, but he is crew chief. He left it on and then he fell asleep. So, uh, <laughs> but we're working our way around. It's it's fine. Good luck, Merlin. Copy. You did really well, Jordan. You can be really proud of that. Yeah, I mean... High 40s, low 50s. Oh, don't worry about the fucking pace, mate. <laughs> That's not what we needed right now. It's just uh, bringing the car around. That's all we needed. And you've been doing really well to recover how, the, how everything started out for you. Because uh, that was pretty rough. It was oh, very rough. Yeah, that was... Uh, didn't go to the way I wanted to. So. Yeah, but top job to get uh, to get back on it, like you did. So, uh, and even if you worry about the pace, the pace is more than fine. Um, but I've mentioned it a thousand times, it's not pace we're looking for right now. It's the last thing we need. So yeah. Top fucking job. Merlin back in. Yeah, crazy and I think blaming is, is not really a thing that you should be doing in an uh, endurance team anyway and uh, considering the gaps we're managing at this point and running a Porsche 911 cup around the Nürburgring for 24 hours it's uh, pace is not really a thing because uh, you can see that we're, we're running actually against quite highly rated eye racers here and our pace has been okay not blistering i'd say uh purely based on the pace we should have been somewhere around p5 or 6 i think 6 maybe even 7 but um currently the place we're at is just due to the fact of staying alive because there's a lot of people crashing out lots of them so, uh, I don't think there's any form of blaming uh, happening, and uh, we're doing really well. Oh, wow. Uh, so, David uh, uh, crashed. Uh, you mean uh, the Porsche? Yeah, he crashed on lap 53, I think? Yeah, he did. Throw my ass. I'm going to be proud. I 
but I think that just sums up Nerdo being completely than that, really. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, based on the fact that about 50% of uh, our grid, the Porsche grid, has uh, retreated as, at this point, that kind of shows it as well. Z scrolling through it quickly. P1 running, P2 running, but with damage. Then there's us in P3 running with damage. East Coast is still sitting in the pits. So they're 12 laps down by now. Kabord Korea is running, but they've been running with damage from a long way back. Uh, but they're still going, so GG on that one. That's five Porsches still running, and five Porsches are out.
just uh, getting back into uh, chat now crazy uh imperium is actually a team another iRacing team that invited us to do the 24 hour Nuremberg 24 hours of this event uh, Imperium is actually the team that we met uh, during our very first 24 hour race and we've kind of yeah befriended one another and they had a slot in this race and they needed uh, some extra manpower <laughs> if you will and at that time it was two Imperium drivers and we had like two and a half driver because we weren't quite sure if every everyone would make it. So uh, we accepted gladly uh, and since then our team has substantially grown with uh, Jordan coming into the fray and also Kurt who has joined us. Uh, so in the end we turned out to have five drivers <laughs> available and uh, Imperium had two, so Merlin, who's driving there right now, and Yappa, who uh, was our crew chief in the first few hours. Uh, but he's not driving the car, because we don't really need seven drivers anyway. So yeah, it's sort of a, a, a joint venture, if you will. And uh, it, it's been fun. Uh, we've been running closely with Imperium for uh, quite a couple of endurance races now, so we might do it again sometime some merging here and there it's been uh, it's working out for now <laughs> i think knowing what we know now though we could have run two cars here we could have easily run two cars but also with having two complete greenies from our end um like it it, it might have been useful like this because it's very tiring a 24 hour race it would have been easier running two cars because it has been a bit of a mess it's very hard to actually keep it organized and keep it clean and keep uh yeah just keep things going and uh also for like me and Jonas, and, uh, well especially me and Jonas, we've been doing a few endurance races now it's been pretty hard to actually stay out of the car for this long uh, because by the time you get around again, we're both, uh, everyone is doing like two, two hour stints. But they're separated by ten hours. And that that's quite a lot. <laughs> and it's really keeping me uh, sort of out of it. it. It's been fine uh, now. But uh, getting into it has been a bit, bit tough. Normally you wouldn't be running a six man team. That's nonsense. But, uh, yeah, maximum four. Yeah, maximum maximum so we could have ran two but i don't think for this particular situation that would have been uh would have been good but, uh, but here's the part of this sign though because you know if more people started joining a team then yeah there's a possibility of uh two go yeah definitely and I once we know. get more dialed especially it's gonna be a lot of fun to have two cars running I don't know how you pick who goes in what car, but... Uh, well, we've been discussing this for quite a bit already, and we reckon uh, that we won't be running like an A or a, and a B team, like standard, and like one of them being the fast and one of them being the, the slow, because we, we really don't like that aspect, since we're much more of a community-based team anyway. Um, and maybe for one or two events where we want to do really well, we, we will try and uh, get everyone uh, of the same pace into the same car to like optimize the result. But in general, I, uh, we'd say that we just switch it up and everyone who's available can sign up to it and we just run cars accordingly. And then I think it would be fun to actually be running uh, everyone kind of mixed as well because that's going to make it easier when it's going to be like different because if I'm going to be running with for instance just Jordan and Kurt for for a year or half a year and then uh, the team changes that's going to be really hard as well and we're not really fond of like having these set set teams as well so if we have the luxury of actually running two or even three cars it might just be at random at some times I think morning Jordan Morning. Morning. <laughs> Morning. 
Morning. Morning glory. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah. a, a good start it off. Because I, I was thinking, of, I was like, we, we could have had two cars, but then again, who'd you pick him to go in which car? Like, it's such a difficult question to ask. Yeah, it, it would have been hard for this one, and I don't think that, ru like, running a 24-hour event on your first endurance event is already hard enough. And then we're also running the Porsche 911 Cup car, and we're also running the Nürburgring, so I don't think that running three guys then, so meaning we each had to do, like, eight hours, I'm not sure if that would have been the right way for this one. But yeah, normally if you have six guys, you'll be running two cars, definitely. Yeah. I think Kraus spoke about it as well yesterday. Yeah, like, we've been, uh, it's popped yeah, up during the 24 hours a few times, actually. Discussing whether, like, it wouldn't even just be best to see, like, okay, if we're gonna run more cars, of course, if we're enough drivers on the team. Yeah. Definitely run more cars. I've also thought like more cars can put us in more different classes at, at many of the events yeah. that feature more classes. Yeah. So you could have a natural like kind of step in that way or a natural kind of what you want to race this time or what are, are you even, what do you want to race? Do you want to race the 911 RSR? Do you yeah. want to race a Porsche 919? Do you want to race a 8 You know, Do you want to race a, a GT3 at the at the Pizzina do you wanna, you know, there's plenty of yeah. activities to, yeah. to, to field cars in, in different classes as well, which I really like the idea of. Imagine yeah. one team livery car overtaking another in a slower path. That would make for very good pictures. I'm going to attend to uh, Merlin real quick. Yes, attend to Merlin. Good morning, Jordan, by the way. Good morning. I've done my double stint. How did it go? Uh, I had a couple of little moments, but no damage. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Like, yeah. I had I had one fifth at my ninth stint, the first one. I had a couple of moments. I had a very small second fifth, but that one fifth in the carousel was just really annoying. I don't know what happened. I think I threw it in a bit too early. And then the car, the car kind of like bounced down. Then it went over the the inside curb at the bottom of the carousel, and it oh. took an airborne, and it just like flew and bounced and flew and bounced and so. Yeah, I've done that. That's uh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. But I think we're, we're we're pretty good now. As long as we can get third place, I think we'll be all happy with that. As long as we can keep it running, we're in third. And that's oh my gonna god, be we're in third! Yeah, didn't you notice? We're in fucking third, my god. I cannot guy. see, I, I, I thought it was fifth. Still. No, 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 no. I looked at it on the stream because the, 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 big, the picture isn't that big and I'm kind of far away from my television screen. No, I'll, 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 I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm just gonna... I'll give you a short rundown of, like, you left, I think, like, halfway through my stint. Yeah start of my stint ish somewhere around that uh, so through your stint yeah no i went like i went like halfway through jonas's stint oh halfway to jonas stint. oh yeah of course when you came back more or less like yeah, 15 yeah. minutes yeah. 20 minutes after i was ready to get some sleep again yeah no uh jonas did really well uh no biffs no nothing i believe if i recall correctly then i came in no beefs, no nothing. So that was, and that's actually pretty much where we uh, decided the the race. It seemed because we, Jonas catched uh, caught up to, uh, which one was that? Um, R4R crashed out by themselves during the night. We caught up to uh, Revmatch, CCTS, and East Coast. We were lapping quicker. Yeah. And uh, we actually caught up to East Coast, and they kind of seemed to snap under the pressure. Uh, same goes for Revmatch, because we had been catching up. Yeah. And uh, later on, CCTS, um, they also, that was later on in my stint, 
they also seemed to snap because everyone was just being sort of slow through the night and we really kept the pace right where it should be so we just right. hammered it down and everyone seemed to snap and we just kept going then jordan nice. came in and did a really good stint as well nice. so yeah we've we've been running buttery smooth buttery smooth very 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 nice hey mew hey Morning. mew is here <laughs> beautiful yeah it's Merlin's all coming back together now <laughs> merlin's setting the same pace i did yeah, Merlin's flying. He he doesn't even need to be this quick, to be honest. But if he seems okay, he's not being sketchy. So I'm not gonna rap a word about that. So what's the deal? Merlin's gonna be in the car until how long? Uh, for a bit over one and a half hours still. Then it's gonna be Kurt. Um, yeah, it's gonna be Kurt. And then it should be you. Is it you? It is me after Kurt, yes. Yeah, okay. so that's uh, that's the deal. That's the deal. That's the deal. So, yeah, aim is just keep it running. Just yeah. keep it running. Uh, that's all we need. We need no pace, we need no nothing. We just need to keep the car running. The gap in behind has now grown to 14 laps and they're still in the pits. So, there's two cars running in behind us, but the gap is quite substantial. Oh, okay. Is Even it, if something of, happens, we have quite a bit of margin. But if we crash them, out, they'll they'll still catch up. Is one of them Kabord? Yep. Kabord <laughs> is still soldiering on. <laughs> How many laps are they down? Uh, Kabord is currently, as we speak, on lap 98, is where we are on lap 119. So we're 20 laps ahead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Are you making know coffee or, or what? Sorry, John. The slowest lap for right, one guy set was a 932.7. Yeah, they're not, not looking too spicy right now. But if we crash out, they could still catch up. Not, that's that's seven not laps an hour. Seven laps an hour. Yeah, they, they will probably catch up. could. They would catch up. Yeah, they still. Would. Yeah. we still need to get a bit further, but but so, we're getting close to the to the place where we could just as well park the car and have a beer. But yeah, uh, that's yeah. But, that, that, <laughs> we're not, not gonna do that. that. <laughs> East Coast is 14 laps out, so we still need that final stint. We still need the final two hours to actually bring it in. Yeah. So you still, you still need me. That's good. I'm yeah, I still need that. you here. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be, I'll be right back, I'll get some coffee and I'll, uh, yeah. Yeah, you go get yourself some coffee. Mm -hmm. Durton will be right back to attend to you, Ethan. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, Mew. It's it's quite a bit of a miracle that the Kaport Korea car is actually still running. I mean, they've been all over the place. It's been a total meme. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, props props to them for actually still running. Because uh, it seemed like they were not going to make it far into the race. So we're quite shocked even <laughs> to see them still going. Funny though, everyone like gets a biff and then all Mac gets better. <laughs> yeah, it seems. I think the the quick repair is also kind of relieving you of the stress, and that's where you make the mistake or you start pushing it. Uh, I think our mistakes weren't even that much related to pushing. We're just extra super duper careful. <laughs> Like, you know that if you biff it now, if you biff it big time, that's it. You're out. Yeah, I and think the, the reason why I, I think I biffed it, because I wasn't too careful in the outlet. Yeah. 
it's hard for me to, uh, to judge. Uh, I don't know, but it, it's been recovered, so... And you've recovered it really well as well, so... Yeah, Merlin, I know. Merlin's really flying. He's just taking it really easy with the, the traffic, which I'm happy to see, but... He doesn't seem sketchy at all. I feel pretty uh, comfortable. Yeah. Now you always ask, like you always like tell yourself, what if I didn't crash? Then what would happen? Like we'd yeah. both be in the same position. Yeah, definitely. We're not keeping up with P1 and 2. There, uh, that's a tad above our pace. But it would, would have helped with, um... Yeah. The Hold on, I'll be with uh, Merlin quickly, I'll be back. There's five cars running out of ten. He's comfortable as anything. So that's good. He is taking uh, the tires. So, uh, but that's up to him. We don't need those uh, 30 seconds anyway. Wait, well, he's taking tires? Yeah, he's taking tires. But that's fine. If I that makes him feel more uh, more comfortable, then... Yeah, he did start to feel sketchy by um, end of lap uh, stint two. Yeah, though, the, the wear isn't that bad. It's, it's yeah, no, it's fine. It's, it's all just focused on safety at this point. Um, Mew, there is five out of ten cars still running, but in both the TCR class and uh, the GT3 class, only two cars have crashed out. Uh, so it kind of goes to show, and there's been a lot of complaints in the uh, Discord, the 24-hour uh, Discord as well, that the Porsche is such a handful that it's really hard to get it around. Um, but yeah, then again, I guess you know what you're signing up to, so that's not really an excuse. But um, there's quite some big names uh, that have crashed out already, uh, like r for r Motorsport. They had... Um, What's his name again? The actual racing driver? Uh, David. David Petard. He's in there. He's crashed out. So, uh... We're, we're doing better than that. He actually raced a number of times in 24 hours. Yeah, sure, he, sh he should know what he's doing. But then again, he's used to a GT3 BMW, not a Porsche, I guess. Porsche is very hard to drive. Yeah, the Porsche is absolutely a handful. But, uh, that shows. I mean, it, it just, like, adds to it when it's night time as well. I mean, it just shows from everyone having moment. Yeah. Well, the newbies either way. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello. Oh, hey, Kurt. 
Uh, Mew, yeah, uh, Merlin is uh, our only Imperium driver, actually. Uh, <laughs> we have Merlin and Yappa, and Yappa kind of, uh, he went into the crew chief mode as soon as we had like seven drivers available. Uh, so it's only uh, Merlin driving for Imperium right now. It's getting uh, nice and busy in, in the chat. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say good morning, you. Good morning, crazy. Good morning, Ethan. So nice to see. Uh... Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt is making his presence known. <laughs> what what Kurt, did I do? Kurt is setting up. <laughs> what about what you're making about construction the... site noises? <laughs> oh my God. Lances. Oh, you've never done that in your life, Martin. No, no, never no. Never been a construction site, Martin. <laughs> or, 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 I don't know. Um, I don't know. Construction I think some of the Martin. biggest microphone boings have my name on it. <laughs> I have, I must have been in for some big ones every time I kick the mic stand with the yet. <laughs> <laughs> So it, it's funny that it was picking that up because I had on my AirPods and I was uh, setting up on my indoor trainer. Oh, so, <laughs> that's wow. what we were picking up on. I'm doing my virtual biking before I do yeah. my driving. You know, it's a good way to warm up, right? Get the, yeah. get the blood going, get circulating. Get, you know. I, Sounds I would good. If I, I would if I could. The virtual cycling. I'm not going outside today. Maybe, I think on January the 1st, that's my traditional New Year's ride. I'm gonna do that again this year. And I haven't ridden my bicycle for like two months or something. It's been the longest break I've had in a long time. I think in the end, since I was carrying some overuse injuries and stuff, I think my, it's been good for my body. But it's gonna be tough as hell getting back on the bike though. Oh man, it's gonna feel hard. Your first hour is gonna be like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I've tried. I've, luckily, I've tried it before, like have being injured and coming back, and I, I know what it's like to feel weak and puny. But it's such a hard thing, even even after many years of being on the bike and cycling, it, it, it still catches me out, like getting on the bike and my head thinks that I'm in shape, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that really can, oh, you can have some horrible blow-ups. Well, yeah, you feel great for the first five or 10 minutes, and then it's about 15 to 20, you start to feel off. And yeah. then you're too far out to turn back. <laughs> yes. So you see it through. You know, but after about 45, you should start settling in. I, but it's not, I don't think if you just go pretty easily, I, I can always just go easily and just, you know, I was a messenger for four years and all that. I think the, the base of it is like to just go for a ride is always there. But I'm having such a hard time not giving it a little, a little gash, as they say in Belgium. <laughs> and, um. All the time, all the time. All the time, gas That is all that I can, Martin. Tell it. Tell ya. That is what that, that is what you tell. No, what. What, what I tell you. Or that's the, probably not grammatically correct. Uh, I've gotten on deep water just to yeah, try to. It's not even like a much. nightstand. What's up? <laughs> oh, hey, Bubba. Well, good morning. Well, oh, good morning, Doctor Maid. As you might hear from the the ambience in here, we're doing uh, we're doing really well. We're up into P3, so we're sitting in the podium spots. I, uh, I like. I really like the fact that we've been doing exactly the same, more or less, for for give and take for 24 hours. And yeah, it went from, yeah, we're not doing that good. Oh, it's not going good. So it's going okay in the middle of the night, you know. Oh, it's beginning to go okay, you know. So I wake up and it's actually going good and it's just the same. <laughs> yeah, by the time the, the sun came up, we've been doing perfect. So yeah, uh, that makes such a big change that after so long, like 17 hours of darkness, and you can finally see where you're going. Yeah, the sun sunrise was magical. That was absolutely magical. Like, it's always special in an endurance race to actually see the sun come up. Uh, but this one was uh, something else. This one was really good. How's the car doing? Uh, car's okay. It's it's sort of biffed slightly. Um, 
but it's still capable of doing laps below 50s. Um, but I'd advise on not looking at the lap times too much. We're just yeah. uh, keeping it safe. It's What's drivable, it's very drivable. Just uh, feel it out in the first laps and you'll be fine. What's the gap in between uh, uh, us and second and us and fourth? It's like 14 laps in both directions, something like that. I don't know exactly how much. It's yeah, a lot. There's, it should not be paced. Uh, if we just keep it on track, we're not going to gain anything and nobody's going to touch us. Yeah, yeah, seven that's laps. So. We've got seven laps up and we've got even more down. The two uh, front runners in the 911 Cup class is still on the same lap. Yeah, they have been, uh, at some point, they were like five seconds apart after Sunrise. So that was quite impressive. Yeah. I'm gonna attend to Merlin real quick. Let's head to Merlin. That's uh, very impressive. So lap times really don't matter at this point. No, 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 no. It's just getting it around home safely. Just survive. I'm going to go on mute just in case my trainer gets noisy. He's fine. He's fine as ever. Okay, it's last that was a four four. Yeah, he's absolutely flying. Uh, he, he doesn't need to, but he seems comfortable, so I'm fine with that. And I, I haven't seen any traffic in a long time. I might not yeah, have uh, the Audi on the straight, but nothing... Uh, nothing major. But I think a lot of the, like, when looking at it, of course there's... Actually, actually, there are not that many retirees. Most of no, the retirees no. are 911s. We've kept track of it and half the Porsches have dropped out, so that's five on a 10 car grid. And both the Audis and the GD3s have only seen two retirements. So basically they're almost all still running. Uh, but uh, Jordan figured that they might have slowed down a bit and that makes sense because a lot of that are uh, going around still do seem to be a bit biffed. So everyone's yeah. seemingly running out of their quick repairs. Yeah, that, I think that happened. That happened a long time ago. Yeah. Because of my first couple of stints, I saw quite a lot of traffic. But from third and fourth stint, it got a lot more quiet on track. Yeah, and it's really quiet now. Yeah, I saw a lot of traffic too. I saw one piece of traffic in my rear of the car another yeah. piece of traffic <laughs> in the side of my car <laughs> <laughs> yeah Kurt, uh, he has had a lot of traffic uh, traffic related issues <laughs> but yeah it, it was definitely a lot more traffic coming up at that time as well it's really really settled down now man you just caught the grand idiotic scent right at the end of my second stint yeah i did <laughs> the big yeet <laughs> that was uh yeah, but we had someone in the official 24-hour uh, winner 24-hour Discord uh, out of the GD3 class mentioning that the rules state that it's the slower class's responsibility to make the clean pass, so I just had to jump in there and correct him because that is explaining some of the behavior, but that's absolutely bonkers. That's just But it's, it's never the slower class's responsibility. Never, if any, ever. it's the faster class's responsibility. They have the exactly. power and the speed, you know, they, they have the choice of what to do. Yeah. Uh, You'd be right in saying that it's a bit of a, a work together to get it done, especially on a track like this. But is, that's not the same thing as saying that it's the slower car's responsibility. That's absolutely not true. So get your head out of your ass. Yes, please. <laughs> is that what a head in the ass sounds like? <laughs> No, that, that probably sounds more like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what a head up the ass sounds like. Um, <laughs> I 
But actually, I, I had it. I had it surprisingly chill with traffic. I, I don't know. I felt like it was. It wasn't that difficult to like direct the traffic and just like I want you to overtake now. <laughs> yeah. Now. We've also had, of course, a bit of experience in in traffic. And I think we, we in the preparation we also like kind of forgot how hard traffic actually is. Because to some of us they have come accustomed to it, uh, but I can really well imagine that handling traffic, it's just really fucking hard, isn't it? Like it, it takes a while to get used to it, especially yeah. on a track like this. Yeah, and especially at night. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it, it, like I had a couple of moments that are, that were also like, because I had to, you know stay to one side of the place where it was just offline and there's no grip and it's off camber and you know it's 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 yeah yeah it's really tough with the traffic it is and, it uh, is and I, I think we kind of took it for granted maybe even because i don't remember myself mentioning it to anyone that came into this like oh yeah there's traffic that we need to maybe practice Oh yeah, yeah, I mentioned that several times. I was like, oh, I forgot. It's gonna be a major thing. Like one thing is pace, but you gotta be able to handle the traffic. You know, it's it's yeah. I find it easier to direct traffic to go through with flashing lights. Yeah, but that helps. Definitely. In daytime. Yeah. Because they can't Definitely. tell if you're letting them by. No, but you have to be very. Uh, like you have to try to make it easy for the for the if you're in a slower car you the, the best thing to do I, I figured is to make it easy yeah be very the, proactive yeah like make it easy for the for the other guy to figure out what you're trying to do make it super clear and yeah like the, and the time, even then they'll fuck up la, yeah last time last time i raced at spa at the ilms i was running in second place and i got killed by uh, by hpd i uh I, I wanted him to send it into uh, after the camel straight into Le Camp, and he didn't I thought so when I turned in he somehow decided to send it anyways just as I turned in so I actually avoided him but that made the car spin and uh, yeah yeah that sounds awfully familiar yeah well, one just thing saying, I do appreciate is how the uh, race control is handling the protests, um, because yeah, in these situations, yeah, they're just like driver incident miscommunication. No. Yeah. You know, like if I think about when I got rear-ended, I replayed that several times about how I would do it differently. I couldn't yeah. come up with anything, because I didn't actually drag the brakes to let it by. I dragged the brakes because I had gone offline and lifted and I needed yeah. to get back online so I thought he was going to sail by on the right well he came out of the turn and floored it preparing to go offline yeah so he was, was yeah bad timing you know yeah that's bad timing uh I'm gonna attempt to Merlin quickly I don't I don't agree with that crazy net at the Nord Slifer you can't just keep your line if you keep your line as a uh, as a slower car uh, in front of a GT3 and a 911 Cup for instance you could have them behind you for a very long time and the pass could end up being a big send and it's gonna be all very edgy and stuff so there are certain places where it's possible to just stay wide on corner entrance for example or go wide and break early. I don't remember the, the corner names at the Nürburgring, but I'm not sure I'd agree with you entirely. Perhaps we're just speaking a little bit different languages here, so to say. Uh, I, what I do agree with is the part about the importance of being predictable, and that's a big part of what I meant as well, is just trying to be as predictable as possible. And thus, by being predictable, also making it easy. See, perhaps I see the two things as kind of two sides of the same thing. Yeah, it takes a bit of judge, judgment from, from both sides. Because if you can see that someone that you're lapping, either one way or the other, is racing someone, you're going to have to expect them to be spicy. If you're coming up to a slower car battling some another slower car, you have to expect them to not be moving as much uh, as they usually would. 
I've, I've had myself being crashed out by the the single LMP2 that ran in the ILMS race, and he had to send it through maggots and beckets at Silverstone, yeah. and that's yeah. just madness. You, and that was on the last lap as well. I was battling someone, and he's the singular car in his class. And that's just bad ethics. That's just wrong in a lot of ways. So, yeah, it, it, it takes a bit of participation from both ends. Yeah, Ethan, Ethan, that's on point, I think. As, as Ethan th says, keep your line until you can move. And that's, 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 that's exactly what I've been doing. Keeping my line until I found it safe to move. I spoke to Trials, but we spoke about it tonight, this night, I think. Like, mission number one is to stay on the gray stuff and to keep the car there. And once you're sure you're keeping the car there, you can start to think about, you know, making traffic flow easily and, and such. But yeah, it is hard. It's very hard. It's very hard, and especially... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if it's especially hard in the middle class, so to say, like in the middle sp speed class like we're in, or the, eight, the LMP2s would be, or etc. But... Mm -hmm. For us, we have to contend with overtaking the slower TCRs and being overtaken by the faster GC3s. So that's... that's we have to, you know... And it's a bit of an odd one as well because the the Audis are exactly matching our speed in the corners and they're slow on the straights, and the GT3s are exactly the other way around. They yes. have the same top speed, yes. but they're so much quicker through the corner. Yeah, we so have that... we have we have the the grip of a TCR with the speed of a GT3 and an yeah. engine at the back. That sums it up pretty <laughs> well, I think. Yeah, but that makes it really hard because you cannot have a GD3 overtake you on the straight without holding back yourself because then they just won't make it. I think also you come to the fact that the our car doesn't have ABS whereas the other two do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just look at that Audi. <laughs> That's a good example. Yeah. Look at him, bro. But also, I feel like Merlin's Merlin's handling of that situation is a very good example of how you should do it because that's yeah. one of the spaces where you can actually break early yeah. and stay wide left and like make it make it known for the GT3 behind that I'm giving you space here, like yeah, no that doubt was a about good it. Example. So thanks, Merlin, Merlin, for uh, showing us how it's done. Just as we're showing talking about us it. the way. <laughs> Merlin know the way. Merlin know the way. Do you know the way? <laughs> Merlin know the way. Ah, that's good. That's good, my friend. Merlin know the way. Um, Trials left himself as, as crew chief. Yeah, we've had this problem since... Uh, since he went to bed, since, I guess. Yeah, since he... F I, I think he even just fell asleep at some point. <laughs> during my stint because he was suddenly he left <laughs> but he was still in the crew chiefing slot you can change the stuff yourself so uh, that's gonna be one for Kurt as well that you're gonna have to set up your own pit stop uh, because we cannot do anything with Jonas in the crew chiefing slot check check I, I, check double check I should have uh, crew chief taking care of my things and I can just switch off tires myself, it's fine. Yeah, and even if you keep the tires on, we can afford the, the 30 seconds, it's all fine. There's no pressure, we just need to keep it running. Yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. Good morning. You're gonna feel so much more relaxed now that you can actually see where you're going. Yeah, it's much better during the day. Good morning, Yappa. Good morning. Thank you. Did you see uh, how we're doing? Yeah, I followed the stream a bit. Ah. <laughs> oh, Wake coming into the chat as well, and Mitchell. Good morning, everyone. Good, good, good morning. It is a good morning, isn't it? <laughs> it's a cold morning. Yeah, I'm wearing like my, my woolen, sheep woolen slippers, so I'm fine. Yeah, I'm having woolly socks. 
But yeah, it's generally a cold morning. Around it the is cold. In the northern, northern part of the continent of Europe, I think. Talking about the northern part of the continent of Europe, I'm very much planning to do some trucking later today. <laughs> <laughs> is this an invitation? Yes. I will be trucking with you today, my friend. Sounds good. So you as well, Jordan, you're more than welcome. I might pop across for a couple of hours. <laughs> That's somewhere between two and twelve hours of trucking. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, wake, we're in third, so we're up onto the podium. Uh, for now, we're we're looking. If we can keep the car running until then, we should be finishing in third. The car in second is far up the road. But also the car in fourth is even further down the road. So uh, if we just keep it alive and we keep it composed, we should be looking at a, uh, a podium spot here. So uh, yeah, we're, we're really chuffed with uh, how this is turning out because if I may dare say it, it wasn't looking too spicy before midnight. Uh, we, ha we have had a bit of a rough time so I'm, I'm really happy to see what the situation is right now. Uh, Mitchell, how many how many drivers were on the grid? Like 40? 40, 40 some or something? Let's have a look. 42. 42. Yeah. That's we can about right. And that's with the, the three safety cars as well. No. 44 with the three safety cars. It's 41. 44 with them. It's 41. 41 drivers. 41 drivers. Out of which Kabord has come very, very much last. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? I'm not trying to take the piss, but it, it's been such a meme. It has been a I, meme all the way through. I appreciate their stick with itness. Yeah, the Kabord Korea team is actually still running. The Kabord Motorsport car, they crashed out first. They're uh, 112 laps behind. Uh, but Kabord Korea is still soldiering on. Yeah, you know, so, I looked uh, at the car at 3 a.m. and it looks like a, a, a Volkswagen dune buggy. Yeah, and no front it fenders. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a red ride. It's a really. It red does ride. even from the inside. It looks totally like something you'd see in the Baja 1000. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like from the they carpet view. Maybe they picked the wrong car. <laughs> yeah. The cockpit view actually shows you the top of the bonnet, so yeah, that about tells you. Oh, but it does with ours as well. Like, our front end isn't pretty as well. The back is fine, but the front, ooh. Yeah, we've, uh... Man, it's not looking good for each post. Are they still in? Oh, they're, they're still, still in. in. They're still in. They're on 104 lap. I'm really just leaving Merlin to it. He seems to be doing just fine. He doesn't really need the uh, the crew chiefing. I will be reminding him to box this lap. So that gives me one hour. Yeah, about an hour. Thank you. Uh, I think um, Alpine Eagle Racing has taken their quick pair because their car's nice. It's not nice on my end. Uh, it looks nice on my end as well. As, 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 as from the inside. Time. Looks fine it's from the outside. Yeah, 9.23 is that, not a 8.23. Yeah, that, that was a pit lap. Um, he's, the, he's literally doing... 8.32, 8.26, 8.26, 8.27, 8, that's Martin Asher who's in the car yeah. Now, yeah. Just straight back onto it. 8.29, 8.28, 8.27, 8.26, 8.26, and then a 32 he's and then coming in. spicy dude. But yeah, it's still like the bonnet is still a bit biffed and the fenders are a bit biffed. That's how it uh, how it has been for, uh, yeah, that's for true. quite a while. It does have a little bit of a dent in the nose. 
Yeah, that's the biffs that they've been running for uh, for a while now. <laughs> Biff, you know that Swedish for meatball, right? If, if they can keep up the pace, they should oh, it, catch the car in front of them. Yeah, it's going to be spicy for the lead, actually. Oh my god. Mer Merlin uh, closing in on Phil Hill. <gasps> And the TCR. Yeah, we've actually unlapped ourselves from the entire TCR field in the process. So uh, I guess that's a good thing. Oh, it's not good. Oh, yeah. That is a very good thing. Have we passed them as well? Yes, we have, right? Passed who? Passed. <laughs> passed who? The, the, the TCRs? Yeah, all of them. Okay. I did that on my stint, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I think you uh, finished the process. Seems to be correct. If you were to compare eye racing damage to to uh, GD Sport damage, that's two two very different worlds. And like, you can't really compare compare the two. No, not really. Like yeah, there is damage, but it's more like a tick box. Yeah, that's true. And Mitchell. Uh, Funny you're saying it, because the new damage model is on the way, it's already been released for uh, a couple of the open wheel cars, the Skip Barber and the... Uh, Formula 3? And the Formula 3, yes. And they're also working on a, uh, on a model for materials to react in the way they're supposed to, so that, as to say, carbon snaps and steel bends. Um, which will probably see the end of bent carbon, something we've seen a lot, a lot of in high racing that we haven't seen in real life. Anyone who's ever seen a, a, a crash at a bike race would know exactly what I'm on about here. That 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 carbon doesn't bend. That's just no. like period. Carbon does not bend. No. It's nice. That's not. It. It's actually rumored that uh, carbon debris is gonna make you run a flat tire if you run over it. Is a rumor that's been going around. Oh, that's gonna be. Yeah, I think that that's with the same fission with the uh, wet tire model they are testing for the rain and the flat spots you can get with locking up. Yeah, it's looking like there's a lot of innovation uh, about to about to happen. Yeah, I'll well, call it catch up to the other titles. <laughs> as as if I racing wasn't complicated enough already. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, can, can you imagine it, right? Of um, doing a 24-hour race and then the last say six hours it just downpours and it yeah. fucked everyone over. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah, but oh. it's it's part of the game, isn't it? I mean. If you look at for real life insurance no. racing, remember. For that reason, I really want to be good at in the wet. I, I, I'm always really bad in the wet. It's not where I feel comfortable. That's what she said. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually do okay in the wet. Actually, I draw on my vast dirt and rally experience to handle the car over slippery surfaces. Uh, by the way, uh, sorry to cut through, but Mew, there is not 10 hours and three quarters left. There is five hours and a minute. Yep. So, so we're quite a bit away through that uh, half the race gone marker. The race is indeed supposed to. It's, it's running until what half past three this afternoon. We're like exactly on schedule, by the way. Like exact. So we don't want to. Oh, cut you said any exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is an X in chat. Let me see some yeah. <laughs> Give yeah, me some jump right. song. <laughs> but uh, Merlin is coming in now, doing an hour, and then it's going to be two hours of Kurt, and then two hours of Durden as well, so we don't want to be cutting any stints short if we don't have to. Is all I'm saying. 
And have, have, have we have a, had a look at the overall number of laps that, for instance, Jordan, I think Jordan is the one running uh, the most yeah, laps that's for fine. us? We've uh, been looking into that over the night, it's fine. All right, cool, that's perfect. I, I was, I had it, I had the feeling that it was gonna be fine. Yeah. I'm gonna be the one with the least laps, uh, because I'll be one stint down and Jordan is gonna be one stint up. Technically, but we've been having about a stint's worth of uh, troubles. So Jordan is running like four and a quarter stint max. Everyone else is running four stints as scheduled. And I've yeah. ran only three. All right, but that's so still fine. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, well. We need Jordan to be doing six stints. You know, that's like no one is is even close yeah, to doing that's, six that's stints. That's happen. so much extra running to have to do. So I'm gonna wave Merlin in. Yes. Merlin's coming into the box on this lap, of course, but his crew chief should be telling him this already. I'm having a look at the glorious shape of our 911 cut. <laughs> Absolutely bent all the way around, but still running. That's the important bit. <laughs> Martin was mentioning something about one of the other cars looking like a beetle. I, I can't... <laughs> I can't help but think that our car yeah, from yeah. the front exactly <laughs> looks exactly like that with a huge rear wing on there. It's a fast beetle. It's the fastest beetle. I'm gonna put it on Martin to design a livery for our next 911 Cup. That looks like uh, Herbie, but 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 that doesn't really look like Herbie before it really gets gets biffed and bent. <laughs> 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 that would be a funny to have. Uh. What a, it looks like, let me just see 